Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I've done a couple of small things off stream, including making this big long train uh, specifically to put down concrete and stone and stuff. Um, we've got a... F we've basically taken over half the block for... Uh, the block that was already doing concrete production. Uh, added some other stuff. Uh, steel beams, stone, solid rocket fuel for the train. Um, I may or may not end up having it laying out reinforced uh, plate as well. Um, apparently we're missing stone brick also. Oh, I didn't bother requesting it here yet. Um, but basically, um, basically we've got a system for automatically loading um, a bit of stone because I always want the rail areas to have stone flowing. Um, some bots, and whichever else, uh, in this case concrete, that we're going to put in the middle. And, uh, this, uh, this is just a big old construction train with a very specific purpose. Uh, with lots of cargo wagons, so that we've got lots of capacity. It also distributes the, uh, the need for the electrical charge. Um, for the vehicle robo-ports a bit more evenly. Hey, love Kelly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Feel better? Uh, somewhat. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, I don't feel great, but I don't feel like I would feel better if I don't stream today. I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and automated... Just with the auto crafter, a little bit of a reinforced plate back at the mall. And laid that out there. Um, I might just keep the reinforced plate for like, I don't want to say special occasions, but, uh, you know, relatively special builds perhaps. Or important builds. Or maybe we'll upgrade everything to it eventually. Can they handle more than 50 bots at the time per wagon. Um, they can, but we're only putting in like 50 uh, for each one. That's the target anyway. Um, this one looks a bit imbalanced, but it's probably fine. Um, basically, I have a system here whereby when the train... Uh, let me just do this real quick. Uh, when the train comes back, um, for like one minute, it's just going to empty. And then after that, we start putting things into the train. So they should be nice and synchronized. Uh, should be. Um, so I've got set filters, whitelist and blacklist on um, filter inserters that are going to put things into or take things out of the train. There's no filter on the blacklist at the moment. Once the timer catches up, uh, we'll push through this stuff. I've only got um, uh, the bots, stone, and concrete uh, switched on at the moment. So that's how we can easily select what goes into the train. I'm always going to have the bots and stone. That's why they're on their own combinator. But we could easily toggle... Uh, which type of concrete we want to fill out the middle with. So now it's taken everything extra out of the train. Uh, and there it goes. Starts putting everything else into the train. And we should end up with... Surprisingly not that even of a distribution of bots... Hmm. There's still 26 bots in this one. Um. That's weird. I, I want to see this again. Uh. 
I wonder if it's because when things go to the active provider chests... Well, no. I was gonna say the bots go to the nearest um, buffer chest that's requesting bots. Perhaps. But, like... I'm pretty sure I made sure I had enough bots in this system um, to evenly distribute them across these uh, buffer chests. But then there might not actually be a... St oh, no, here they are. Yeah, there is a storage chest for bots. So the, ex the extra ones should end up back in here. And then... Each one of these chests should end up with at least 50. We've got 86 construction bots. I want 300. Oh, we're short. That's why. There's only 285. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay. That should do it, right? That should make sure the bots are... Why, why are there no bots here? Well, this one did get 50, though. How did this one only get 10? I don't... I don't understand. So we're putting all of the bots into active provider chests. Each one of these chests requests 50. Um, we've got a storage chest. We've got more bots than 50 times 6. We should end up... Let, let me set this timer higher. Just to make sure we have time. Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this one only has 22 in it. Um, but once the bots get taken out of the train... Maybe I should have set the filter like down here for the bots so they get taken out first. Um, but anyway, the train's empty. There should be at least 50 bots in each of these chests, which there are. Each of them have bots and stones, so that shouldn't be an issue. So once this timer catches up, um, we're going to keep putting bots in the tr until there's 300 across the entire train. And all of these should be synchronized. They've all got a stack size of 10. So how is this not happening? Is the question. That should mean the bots get taken out first next time. Which means... Probably won't matter if that timer isn't long enough. This one got 58 somehow. Why? They're all on the same piece of wire. The signal travels at, to all of them simultaneously. I... what... Why are you like this? Why would it do that? The, they are all the same, right? Oh, this one's not... Oh, no, 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 I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, no, that's just mirrored. And the ones that insert have the same settings. Set filters, whitelist, stack size 10. The reason that we empty the train is so that we can... So that we can refill it in sync, basically. We've got 50, 
58, 50, 55, 53. Even if they went over, they should all go over by one swing. If the number of signals that have to pass through here, uh, if the number of hops for the signal is that many, which it's not, it's like one combinator. This time it's different. We've got 40, 40, 60, 60, 50, 53. Well, it'll be functional anyway, but if anyone's got a theory on why that's happening, I'd love to hear it. Um, I was thinking I won't use this too, too often, and I would just have a couple of solar panels in here, but I still want the maximum reach. Um, well... Maybe I could cut it down a bit and add more... Robo ports actually give it more solar panels. Let's uh, let's double the solar panels and see what the robo port range looks like. But yeah, I don't really want to bother with the charger for this one. Okay, that's still a lot of range. Fifty-five. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It really just has to, has to have enough range so that um, so that the bots can reach the entire block that we're trying to build at the time. Whoops. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, is it my imagination or is the range? Oh, there's a robo port here. That would that would probably help. Um, but no, that is. Looks like more than enough, um, distance. Okay. Make sure we put some Logibox... Logibox? Logibots back in, and a few bots just in case. Uh, construction bots. Uh, but yeah, time to pave the universe. I have been doing a little bit of that already. I made some blueprints to uh, to simplify the process so we can just snap to grid for any of these. Uh, I did have some that I was planning to use a while ago um, that was going to include the artificially planted trees, but considering how much pollution we have, we'd have to... I think we'd probably have to do quite a few blocks of... of pollution scrubbers, but also I don't like, even if we end up doing that, I don't like the, um, the hazard concrete look from this as much as I did before. Um, but yeah. Let's, uh, let's place some concrete. Give this thing a test drive. So down at multi-cylinder engines. I might just ride this thing. We're gonna take our construction train and park it right about here. Wait for inactivity. And it should be fire and forget. Um, I did count it so that the train would definitely have enough of each floor resource to fill out the entire block. Could maybe give it enough to fill out two blocks in one trip, but I'd rather have the slack and 
be able to fill out whichever resource and swap them easily. But yeah, that's looking kind of quick. Although the uh, battery charge is going to be a little bit of an issue. Oh, also there's all of this over here that I apparently planned out earlier. Whoops. Anyway, we'll leave that device to its own device. Um, what should we be focusing on at this point? We just got copper flowing reliably from Muir, as in from an infinite source. Um, we're having to pay some space elevator cables, uh, ion stream, and of course media defense ammo. Uh, and whatever else. Oh, I guess the occasional space train power pack recycling. Um, to keep that flowing, but... Yeah, we've got, uh... Looks like we've basically always got a pair of trains waiting to come upstairs to drop off more copper. Which is fine. Uh, maybe I would like it better if these trains were stopped at this depot thing, because this looks a bit weird. But I think I'd have to go back over there, because what I need... Uh, unfortunately, with chain signals, we can't... We can only read signal with circuitry. Um, what I'd like to do is put, like, a, maybe a regular signal um, here and here, and just connect that, um, connect that to the station upstairs via circuit wire. And if the station upstairs isn't ready to receive more resources, just have the trains park here. In hindsight, what I should do next time... Well, I do have to have a stop that's just after the space elevator um, that the trains can go straight to. Otherwise, you get this weirdness, but on the other end. And I should have done that up here, but I don't really have room to now. I mean, I guess I could. Do we have space rail here? We've got 1k... I could do like a loop up here and have them park here, waiting to drop off. That might make a lot of sense actually, but it would kind of ruin the almost symmetry of this build. I mean, I could literally make it nice and symmetrical, it look like a big TIE fighter all around. Or a, a giant satellite or something, which I think would be kind of neat. Pretty good prototype, though. But yeah, we've got our infinite copper coming in. Um, I definitely overbuilt the hell out of this uh, core fragment processing area, because the machines on the right side have zero products finished. Uh, they've never seen a core fragment. Um, not too surprising, actually. But the copper core fragments are always just dropped off on the left side here. Um, but let's see. Products finished 1032. I don't know exactly how many... Um, how much time I spent off stream messing around with this stuff. Not too many... Uh, just a few hours, if that. Um, so that's going pretty decently. Actually, we can look at copper core fragment uh, production slash consumption. 863 per minute. Um, that's pretty good, actually. Is it not? Where are we up to? I think what I want to start doing today 
is some some more science in the rail network upstairs. So we'll start doing everything that's in the spaghetti science. Uh, well, we've already done a little bit of it. We've got the uh, space science packs. We've got utility science packs. And we've got production science packs. Um, all in the rail network already. Not to mention uh, optimization tech data. So that just leaves, you know everything else. Um, I kind of broadly want to have one science type to each quarter. If I can. Or maybe do like... I think I want like Astro, energy, material, bio. Top left to top right. Alright then, let's do some energy science. Um, I've still got a bunch of trains I need to update as well, but procrastination. Let's see. Grab some rail blocks. Uh, I want to leave at least three by three uh, around uh, in each di diagonal direction from the space elevator, just to leave room for resources coming up, blocks like this, or going down for that matter. Let's grab our construction train. I actually updated the construction train down at the ground level to have uh, space locomotives as well, so it's nice and fast. I haven't done the same thing upstairs just yet. Unfortunately, we do have to stick with the old cargo wagons, otherwise the bots won't jump out of them unless we put this on manual. Let's get started here. Go down here and wait for inactivity... How fast is it anyway? Not that fast. Not what I'm used to now. And then... Um, I think I would like... Well, I guess it's time to jump into the editor and have a look at... what one of our first blocks is going to look like for... For one of the prereqs for one of our sciences. Let's do energy first, just because I feel like it. Uh, scaffolding. We are going to fill out this block and we'll remove the excess later. Some derpy bots at downstairs construction train. Uh, yeah, probably. They're not able to get back in here. Let's just send them to uh, the emptier. That'll get sorted out. Um, okay, so if we're doing energy science, well, why don't in, instead of like trying to figure out the um, prereqs, why don't we just build energy science and work back from there? Um, so I'm pretty sure we need a big, no? Oh, I forgot about these. We need research server or advanced research server. Uh, we've only got the regular research server right now. Advanced research is kind of deep uh, into the space sciences, so we won't worry about that just yet. Then again, uh, maybe I should design it for advanced and then just replace it. I don't suppose we can upgrade plan. Nope. 
Uh, advanced research server is a lot bigger. And what is this? Matter science pack. Okay. Does it have more modules or something? Yeah, it does. And what's the speed? It's three times as fast. Okay. Um, should I set an arbitrary goal? Our science per minute. Or should I just tweak it as we go? What's our current max rate on some of these things? Well, I know that 0.6666 is actually... Per second is actually quite a lot. Uh, that's 0 0.5 per second. 0 0.5 per second. Alright, uh, I think we'll try to build things for the capacity of 0 0.5, perhaps. And then we'll just see how we go. This is actually 0.4 already. Um, but I do kind of want to leave room for upgrading. Make it easy. Alright, so what actually goes into this? Uh, Holmium plate, SIG data... I definitely want SIG data to be coming from a different rail block. Um, that's something that we'll be able to upgrade the way we do it as we go. Uh, energy insight, though... I think that might be kind of the same deal. Um, so all of them take in catalogs. Um, at first they spit out some blank data cards. And then later on they spit out nothing but insight. Uh, and they actually take in blank data cards as opposed to needing more catalogs to get the same number of insights. That makes it a little bit tricky to make a build that upgrades from this all the way to this, but I think what we could do... We've got the technology to use the broad catalogs already, right? Um, insight. Oh, we've actually got the tier 3s, technically. Should I go for... Well, I would have to build all three tiers all at once if I do this. Hmm. Can I... Can I research... Broad bio? Um, where is it? I need to research... Oh, that's incredibly cheap. Vitalic Acid... Biocatalog 2... And this one actually requires bio 1, but it's very cheap. Let's do it. Boovim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I have to at least produce some bio one before... Uh, before I can build the rail system to just... use the tier two catalogs. Or do I? This actually unlocks bio catalog two. So, no. Yeah, I think we can go straight to using the Tier 2 catalogs. Uh, which means, I think for our Insight builds, we want to skip the Tier 1. And we'll just do this version. Yeah, I'll, I, I can build it as if we're doing the Tier 4. And make it so that we have a smooth upgrade path into that. All of these take in super cooled and spit out 25 degree thermofluid. The only difference is uh, the number slash type of catalogs they take in 
uh, and whether we need to give them blank data cards as well. So that's cool. We can uh, we can make a nice smooth upgrade path for that. I think I'll do this first. So uh, we need the computers, right? Quantum supercomputer is that the tier two? Uh oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Oh, the regular supercomputer can do the tier 3. I'll just design it with the... Um, with the higher tier computers. And we'll downgrade. Despite the look of it, this is actually the same size. Um, all right, so tier four energy. Uh, they should probably have... Well, if we're doing this light stuff, they should probably have speeds in them. Speed nines. Uh, wide area beacon tier two. Put that in the middle, and we should be able to fit this on both sides. Uh, comfortably enough. And that should be about the limit. Um, I imagine this is actually going to go way faster than the belts can reasonably keep up with. Or way faster than we're going to need for the actual playthrough. But let's have a look. Uh, if we were to have this many, we'd be looking at... Two wow, okay. 537 blank data cards per second um, is what would need to go in. We'd get a thousand <laughs> energy insights, uh, make it 2,000 for half a block. Uh, is this minimum energy consum consumption, though? Not quite. Uh, that is... Yeah, that's not going to be much different. Well, we'll definitely be able to drastically reduce the number of machines eventually. Uh, in the meantime, though, if we just had the regular computers... Well, the regular computers can only do the tier... Uh, the tier 1 recipe, I think. Uh, if we went for the highest tier recipe with the lowest tier machines and, like, let's be generous and say tier 3 modules. Um, see how many efficiencies we need here. Minus 50% power consumption. Minus 80. How fast would this go? That's a lot more reasonable. Although I did forget that we would need three belts of input. If we're going to have that tier of recipe. Uh, one for blank data cards. And then two for each of these. Which is not going to fit very cozily. Um, in this half a rail block, I think. So maybe... Maybe I just won't try to fit half so many machines in the one block. 
I mean, I don't think we really need them anyway. Like, this would be the output, probably. This is one, two belts for input, and we can't fit a third. This is only one belt of input, or two if I do it like this. Painfully close. What if we... Could I, is there a way to do like a squiggly belt here? With the pipe outputs? I don't think so. No, I really don't think so. Like if these were closer, there'd just be nowhere. What if we did like a zigzag? Output. Uh, I think I'm going to be one tile short of being onto something here. Also, the undergrounds can't reach if I do that. But it could be something like output, output. Then the underground belts wouldn't reach far enough either. Otherwise, this would be a good idea. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's only since getting into space I wish I made these blocks ever so slightly bigger. Other than the fact that I can't quite fit a huge storage tank cozily between this space. Uh, maybe... Nope, maybe nothing. Maybe we should just do a couple of columns. Nice and easy. And then we'd have like... If I put these one tile further apart, we could have one, two, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that it? Hold up. Uh, Philip B, thank you very much for the prime sub. Much appreciated. And for the three months. Thank you so much. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if I have them this close together, where do I... I guess since we have this extra horizontal space, I could do the pipes like this, perhaps. Which means we could go... Three belts of input, like this. That seems okay, I guess. Let's push these further out. Uh, how, how fast do they individually consume blank data cards? Three per second. So those should be closest to the quantum supercomputers. I think. When you add tier 9 modules to that build, it will sustain at least 10k SPM, indeed. Uh, but, it, but we don't have the tier 9s just yet. Is the only thing. I think I'll flip this around, which surprisingly enough we can do. And then, oops, oh, I actually want to keep that. Yeah, uh, I guess that's going to be neat enough. How many, how many tiles is this? Five. Nice and straightforward there. Um, maybe it would look tidier if the undergrounds were just like this. 
I don't think so, actually. And output like so. Simple enough. It actually takes up more space than I thought it would. Especially considering how close we were to making it work before. 10k SPM is at least 20 belts of Naquium plate. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, this thing, though, would be like... Nearly 100 energy units per second, lol. Yeah, I think it's probably going to be enough. Probably. This is with a wide area beacon too. Uh, we only have wide area beacon tier 1 at the moment. So we'd be looking at something like... Uh, we don't even have this tier 4 recipe, by the way. Oh, and also we don't have the tier 2 computers. I'm pretty sure we don't anyway. So the best we could do at the moment uh, would look more like... Eighteen insights per second? Two point two catalogs per second? That seems pretty reasonable. Hey Evil Plum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh I think that's probably fine. Um but we do need to assume later on recipe for the inputs and stuff. The recipe that we're going to upgrade to eventually. And we can just remove extra machines if we really don't need them. Also, also, does this take... Yeah, I checked. They all take negative 273 degree. Uh, super cool thermo fluid. How fast does it consume it? Pretty damn slowly. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Alright, so we're going to want... A drop-off for... Four kinds of catalogue and blank data card. And the thermo fluid. Uh, let's put the blank first. Catalog 1, Catalog 2, Catalog 3, and Catalog 4. Goes into... I'll just use the deep supercomputer for the symbol. And out comes Insight. And we're going to need a drop off for the thermo fluid. Preferably one where the wagons can output pretty quickly. Uh, and we've got one, two, three, four, five different outputs to bring together. Be like this. Armin's craze. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thought you researched tier two computers, did we? Computer. We did not. Uh, can we though? That's just the different simulations, which are incredibly cheap. We should probably knock those out. Uh, but where is 
tier 2 computer. It needs energy 3. That won't be for a little while. Just checked and couldn't yet. Okie dokie. Alright, so... Do we have room even? Yeah, we do. It's actually kind of close. And I don't suppose there's going to be symmetry there. Maybe I should move it over a bit. Um, although this lines up pretty nicely. So we're going to have more or less the same thing over here. Um, let's move this over. I think I'd rather see it closer to the middle. Yeah, that's as close as we're getting to a to a nice look. That can go there. That can go. Uh, here actually. No. What's the neatest way to do this part? Kind of like this better. Maybe like this? Honestly, that doesn't look that great. But I guess it gets the job done. Well, if these go all the way down here, it's not going to look very good, is it? Something a little bit like this. Okay, at least we get that much symmetry. And then we need to set the filters. So nearest to the machine is going to be blank data cards. And then... Catalog one, two, three, and four. Um, if we've got 320 stacks, five resources, and they come in in stacks of 50, that just leaves 20 stacks spare, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, nope, more than that. 50 times 5 is 250. There's like 70 stacks spare. Uh, I don't think LTN is going to oversupply this too severely. Should be fine. Let's get some pipes over here. Oh, that's tragically short. Are you sure you couldn't be one tile further up? Nope. Okay then. And on the other side. That's not going to be a fiver. It wants six. 
Let's make this more symmetrical. And then... Let's do it like that. Right. So... Cold... Or super cold thermofluid. And for the output... Gonna need that down here. Um, should be fine to just put it like this, I guess. And I'd like this to connect over here, if we can. about a pump. Okay, so I also need an output belt. How fast is this? Really, really, really slow. 21, less than half a belt. So I think we'll just do it something like this. And load it in here. And then push to the front. Do we want double trains picking up insight? Yeah, we do end up transporting a lot of insight, right? Compared to some other things. Because we need, like, uh, let's see, one insight to make energy science pack one, but that is before you consider that it goes into the SIG data. It'll get more efficient later on, but at the moment, we do have to put a lot of insight into making SIG data. So yeah, I think two trains does make sense. Um, and we'll want to set a provide stack threshold high enough that this belt pushing to the front doesn't matter. Or I could just only use um, double length trains for this. And we won't worry about having uh, Insight able to be picked up by a short train. Let me just double check there isn't a reason I would want a short train to pick up Insight, like bringing it to the mall or something. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I think we should just... Uh, I think we should just fill this up and set the provide stack threshold to 100. Although this... oh, that doesn't actually line up. I was going to say that looks weird. Let's make it symmetrical while we're at it. And this bit kind of bothers me. That'll do. Alright. Let's do a little test. Um, we need the inputs. All of them. 
and I'll do a set filters blacklist. I'm pretty sure the super inserter will be able to keep up if we do it this way. So I just need some red wire to read from these containers individually. Set filters blacklist and it's just going to put in anything that isn't in here. Although with five of these and four filters here it's not going to work perfectly. But as long as we get a little bit of everything it should be fine. As long as we don't end up with only four resources in the entire in the entire thing. Uh, did I not put the filters on this side? I did. Yeah, no, that looks correct. Hmm, I'd kind of like to set it so that, like, one, two, three, four is our level of catalogs. So this one is two. And then uh, three and four. Let's update those filters and delete all of this and put it back. Oh, my bad, I think I was muted. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted the catalogs to be in order there. One, two, three, four, coming out from the middle. Much easier to follow. Uh, are we not getting blank? Oh. Well, that would probably help. That's in the wrong place, isn't it? Seems good. This one's actually having trouble outputting. How fast is this? 35.84 per second. And we haven't even put the speed modules in these. Uh, okay. Let's suppose it's the near future and we have four speed modules in these things. Uh, and just enough efficiency that they're negative 80-ish percent power consumption. What would the rate be on each side? Just under one full belt. So we'll set the inserters to use both sides of the belt. Much better. Uh, it's like we're struggling to put... Wow, wow, okay. That escalated. Um, that is not what I was expecting to happen there. I guess... I, th I think I know a way I could do this, actually. So we're just going to put blank data cards up here. And we're going to set our inserters. Let's put in a temporary constant combinator. Uh, we're going to read from these, read from this, uh, set filters blacklist, and I'm going to remove blank data card from that blacklist, and 
you'll just pick up these. And then you guys will only pick up blanks and stop when blank is greater than like 50. Uh, set filters whitelist. There we go. Well, no, don't set filters whitelist, just enable disable. Okay, so that's all of our different catalogs, apparently. Yep. And we need to delete all of this to keep it flowing for a minute. That looks pretty good to me. Nice and easy to upgrade. Uh, and we didn't even have to do the tier of recipe where blank data cards are going to come out. So we don't have to change the layout of this. Alright, so this is energy insight prof Actually, it's going to be a purple. Uh, let's go with high priority, 100 stack threshold, 60k provide threshold, long trains only. Uh, I guess this is another way I could do both short and long trains permitted to pick this up as well though actually. Just limit each output to one cargo wagon. And the train won't come until this is full. Maybe you could just check and... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I guess it doesn't hurt to allow short trains here. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this with a resource that's too high throughput that the... Um, Uh, that the resources backing up on the belt would actually slow things down significantly. While the train is on its way. But uh, yeah, that should be fine. So this is Insight. Energy Insight plus 25 degree thermofluid. And we won't forget to connect this. And we won't forget to connect that. And we'll get rid of the cheat inputs. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, this is also requesting supercooled thermofluid. Seems good. Uh, request stack threshold should be 100. Request threshold should be 60k. And then we have to do all these inputs. Negative uh, 275. We'll look for, say, 100k. It's not that fast. We need one train load and change of each of these catalogs, which are threshold 50. Uh, so let's just say like 6,000. How fast would it go through a thousand catalogs? It would take a while. Yeah, that's fine. 6k for each type of catalog. Although, catalogs are kind of slow. So maybe it should be short trains to be more consistent. But then there's going to be so many of these where, like, 
uh, the blank data cards eventually are going to be pretty fast, so I'm obviously going to want to double train for that. And I don't want to, like, rebalance after the short train comes. We'll just leave it as is. Uh, and don't forget the blanks. Make that a couple of train loads because it's going to be a lot faster. That seems okay. Let's go empty out uh, all of this with empty space. Including this part. And I'll add a little bit of scaffolding back in, just so it doesn't look quite so tacky. Oh, definitely don't want to leave this here. Okay. At the very least, I feel like I should fill this out. Um, that pipe doesn't really need to stick out like that, though. And probably a nice big square up here. Fill out this in the middle. And this bit as well. That just looks kind of weird. You know what, just, just fill this out. It's fine. That looks fairly tidy. All right, let's blueprint, unless I'm forgetting something. Train stop names, wires, all seems good. Oh, I didn't actually change this back to what we're able to build at the moment. So, regular supercomputer. Uh, do we actually have the tier three? Three. I think I went over this already. We do, but... But then I would have to do three tiers of signs to get anything going at all. Oh, wait, no, I don't think... Oh, we do. We do. Well, maybe I should do it that way. Even though it's going to be a lot of work before we see any energy signs in the rail network. Then again, it's going to be so easy to upgrade, which is half the point. Alright, let's just do the tier 2 recipe. And... We'll probably go faster than this. Not quite that fast. It's fine, actually. I don't think the blueprint saves this, but that looks better to me. Okay. Oh, and what's our rate at the moment? Uh, 18 insight per second. That seems fine. Probably. Alright, let's blueprint. And this is Energy Insight. Maybe I should do a couple of pairs of Insight builds. 
since I don't think we're ever going to need more than a half block for each of these. So we could do like energy material in this block and then probably I think if we just keep the layout and change the recipes uh, it's all going to be the same it, it, it should be the exact same layout for the different uh, for the different insights right uh, and just to clarify, it's not insight that dramatically changes how we make it, it's sig data, right? Yeah, I think we should. Let me just double check. I think all of those are going to be basically the same. So we got, well, I can do a rate calc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the same. 40 seconds each. 16, 1, 1, 1, 1, 10. We should definitely do it this way. All right. Uh, so let's do another one up here. And you know what? Let me just grab the scaffolding and make this easy on ourselves. Except that I don't want the scaffolding under here because it won't get removed later. Okay. Can we actually flip this whole thing? We can. What part can we not flip? Chain signal? This is definitely going to behave weirdly if we flip it, I think. All right. Cut, flip, paste in just the right spot. And we should be able... Uh-oh. Uh, that might need a little tweaking. But we should be able to just put these right about here. Seems good. We'll need to change the filters on these, of course. Uh, let's go. Material 1. Material 2. Material 4 and Material 3. Copy, paste, flip. The filters over this way. Change this to Broad Material Insight. And honestly, I don't really think we need the double fluid drop off it is going to be quite slow even when it's sped up although this is going to have to connect somehow how about a little bit of this 
and should I bring it through like this way? I think it's going to look a little tacky if I do. Probably. Maybe not as bad as I thought. Um, that's just not going to reach though. I don't love that. We have some 15s. Uh, can we use like a 7 here or something? Not quite. Maybe I should just do a pair of drop-offs because... Now we're going to store way more thermo fluid than we need if I do that. I could connect it down here instead. Might be a little bit tidier. doesn't reach. That just barely does. Could do it like this. I think that's pretty... that's fairly unobtrusive. Alright. So this is going to be basically the same station. Uh, we need the thermo fluid to come out this side as well. So not like that. And we'll maybe grab a seven over here. And then pipe this across. Should be enough throughput. We're only looking at like 45 fluid per second if the whole thing's active. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Cool. Don't forget to connect this. Um, I think I'll make this one material. Why did I type water? There we go. Uh, material insight. Provider. Doesn't have to be a super high priority this time, actually. Because there's no waste product picked up from this side. Where is it? Oh, way down here. Material insight pickup. I kind of like that the purple fluid is being picked up with the purple insight. Uh, and then we just connect these over here. Standard requester. Copy paste most of this, except we need to change all of this to material catalogs. Uh, and we don't need fluid on this side. And. The name is basically going to be same, same, but different. Uh, what are we looking for? Material catalog one through four. Uh, 
uh, and then we're going to have basically a copy paste edit for the other two insides. All right, let's clear out the unnecessary scaffolding. And we'll add a little bit more back in, just so it doesn't look too sketchy. As per usual. Do it the same way on both sides. Should I just fill this in? Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, that kind of works. All right, did I do the station names? Yes. Did I do the wiring? Yes. Is this all still connected? Yes. Uh, did I do the requests? Yes. Looks like we have everything we need. I don't think I desperately need to test this side. Again. All right, we blueprint. This is energy and material insight. And we'll include tiles and train stop names. Uh, and we'll do the snap to grid. Seems good. We'll call it basic because this is the lowest tech level version of this. Um, did I only use the low level computers? I think I did. Fantastic. Alright, seems good. Let's get to building. And I'll put this down here, I guess. Let's go. Where do we want it? Probably like here. Let's get our construction train to pay us another visit. Is it loaded? I was trying to get more space rail. Um, why do we not have space rail? Is it because we need insight and uh, energy catalog and I've only been delivering those semi-automatically? Uh, we've got a whopping 16 energy catalogs at the moment. Um... That might be a little bit of a problem. Let's go pay a visit. We'll grab what we can immediately, for starters. I need those catalogs for wide area beacons as well. Although I did already make a bunch of them ahead of time. we go. Uh, I've run out of life support. Give me those catalogs. Give me all of those catalogs. That's a good start. Do we have any life support up here? I don't think so. 
Um, have some catalogs. There you go. Alright, that'll get a couple of thousand rail or so. Or nearly 2,000 rail, I think it was. Let's go grab some life support before we come back here. Where's the mall? Here we go. I like that darker spot on the map. It's easy to spot. Why? Wait, what? Did you just bring back? Charged power packs? Um, is it because I'm not requesting them here? They're automatically getting removed. Okay. Um, I think I could just put a request for charged packs. And they won't actually get delivered from anywhere, except maybe the mall now. Um, because they wouldn't normally be put into uh, the logistic network. There must be a bunch of charged packs in the mall by now. 1.1k. Well, glad I caught that red-handed. Uh, where's my life support? Here we go. And where's our construction train up here? Almost loaded with its rail, I think. 90 to go, that's one recipe. Uh, which we've got. Okay. How much does it take again? One steel plate, one holmium cable, and 1% of an energy catalog per piece of rail to upgrade it. Alright, construction train is fully loaded. Uh, let's bring it down this way. Oh god, there's actually a lot of rail missing here still. I didn't even really want um, all of these blocks built so much as I was just putting them here to measure out uh, where I want to start building this. I wonder how much rail is being asked for already? Almost a thousand. Whoops. I really need to probably automate um, stealing energy catalogs, taking them to the mall. Do we have a pickup from here? We do not. Could I squeeze one in? I think so. Do we have some space rail lying about? I used to manufacture it here. Uh, we do. There's probably a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got like two whole chests almost. Alright, that'll help as well. Let's put a LTN stop here. Uh, I don't think I'll bother separating these with signals. Do they not have the stop? They do not. I'll have to pay the, that one a visit. Um, let's go do that. Probably don't need this much steel in my inventory right this second. Okay. Maybe I should make a taxi specifically for going through the space elevator. It would be a little bit of a waste of cables, but... I mean... We're consuming... what, 3.2 per minute? 
It's going to cost about five every time I go through with the train. Jetpack's pretty quick though. Kyung, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you. I'm feeling somewhat better. Uh, good enough to prefer streaming over not streaming today anyway. Alright, I think what I'll do here is catalog. Uh, we're just going to do one energy catalog stack. And we'll set this as a pickup. Uh, provide stack threshold one, short trains only. And read from this chest. Just give it a stack inserter. Um, may as well set it to a multiple or a common denominator. Energy catalog and uh, request from buffer chests as well, perhaps. Why not? I don't know if there actually are any buffer chests that we've got catalogs in over there, but it's fine. Oh, the only problem here is I would have to set. A request threshold that's super low for LTN. Uh, I don't like that. I could do a separate station temporarily that's just specifically... Or I could make this both a provider and a requester. That might actually be the best way to do it. Mad Dame Salsa, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Five months in, in total. Thank you so much. And good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're just going to set filters whitelist on... Connected to the logistic train stop output. So we're only going to take these catalogs if it's dropping them off. I guess if it was putting them in, it would set that filter as well. But there's nowhere else that's going to be requesting, so it should be fine. Uh, request stack threshold is going to be 1. And we're going to go for catalog energy catalog tier 1. Negative 50. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, and if we run out of catalogs here, which we already have, uh, it should be making a delivery request. Right? Oh, right. We need to have 50 here first, which we've almost got. We're actually up to 46 already. What's this? Catalog 2. Alright. On the way 10? That doesn't sound right. Um, but we literally just need one more. Before we can confirm that this is working. There we go. So that's 50... Provide stack threshold one. There we go. Short train. Wow, that's fast. Short train is on the way to deliver energy catalogs. And away we go. Uh, and apparently... 
What did I connect this to? Logistic train stop output. Shouldn't it be giving us a signal for energy catalogs? That's weird. I could have sworn I used this many times in my last playthrough for smart unloaders. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just not bother with that. Um, and we'll just manually set this to energy catalog. Like I said before, we're not going to have anywhere else um, requesting tier 1 energy catalogs for a little while. And by the time we do, we can have them mass delivered over here instead of this little thrown together thing. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Heaps of scrap. Uh, yeah, we've got a little bit. You know, just just some, uh, kind of like finding some coins in the back of the couch. Just, just, a, just a little small amount of scrap. It's all contaminated scrap as well. Uh, we've already dealt with the scrap over here. Um, we do have a block for dealing with contaminated scrap. Is the cosmic water... Wait, what? Hold up. Cosmic water... Decon oh, this is cosmic water decontamination, not... Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, but what is this output? Contaminated biosludge. Is that full? No? So at least one of the machine's output is busted? Oh, these undergrounds don't reach. Well, there's your problem. Okay. Um, could I send the construction train over there? Yes, it's already fully loaded. Before I have, uh, before I potentially forget. Uh, but this is what I was looking for. We do have something to deal with contaminated scrap, so we should just make a pickup station for that as well. And we'll continue doing it lazy style. Also, I should go get all of that uh, extra rail from before. This would be quicker, actually. Mod setting change isn't? Mod setting change isn't. I, I don't know what you mean, but I think you actually just reminded me. Uh, nope, we're good. I, I, I was playing very briefly with another save for editor extensions, and I had the testing lab switched off. Uh, I found it left on personal, and I thought maybe it doesn't keep it on a per-save basis, but no, we're fine. Mod setting change isn't. Thought point six changed up combinators reporting the items. Oh, with the, uh, with LTN. Just something in the back of my mind that changed, or you might have switched off. Yeah, I don't think I would have switched that off. I don't think I've ever seen a setting for it either. I could be wrong. Settings, mod settings, LTN. Um, I'm not seeing providers output existing Cargo. Cargo inside train when arriving at a provider is shown LTN output. Includes items from inserters holding items on tracks. Huh. 
But that's... That's not for unloading, right? Arriving at provider. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is... Why was that switched off? Am I going to break something? Did I turn this off for a reason? It's not on... It is on by default. Cargo inside train when arriving at a provider is shown in LTN output. I don't know why I would have turned that off. That's weird. That was the setting I was thinking of, not uh, not it then, not sure what's causing the issue. No, maybe that is it, maybe I misread it the first time. Not sure. Um, Alright, so I want another LTN stop up here. It's a pickup station. Uh, we may as well use the bulk loaders. I think that's right. It's hard to tell with the verticality. Um, and we'll connect this like so. And we'll put in a requester chest. Just like that. Limit these to... Uh, 50 stacks each. And we'll request contaminated scrap. Uh, and I don't really need to give it names or anything. So once that's full, it should get taken away. I may as well give it a name, though. Alright. What's next? What is next? We're not having any trouble loading rail into our train. Uh, what are we having trouble loading? Nothing? Nothing. Fantastic. Uh, let's send our train... Looks like the map isn't updated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's already built. Except for this over here and some of this over here. Alright, cool. Let's send our construction train over yonder. And I want to build the block where I'm, whoops, where I'm planning to build our next, next addition. Looks a little bit wonkier than I remember uh, than I remember it looking with the scaffolding, but I'm sure when it's done, it'll probably not be too bad. We can reach the roundabouts at least, so that should be enough. Do we have enough scaffolding? Go grab some more. Scaffolding. Gimme, gimme. Uh, better make sure the train doesn't leave. It's not going to leave. Fantastic. There we go. I guess I could give him a hand. And that's already it. Maybe I should have a dedicated train for rails and scaffolding. Pretty sure I've said this before. We 
have much more scaffolding left here. Uh, we have zero. We're gonna have to come back unless I tell the train to wait here. Let's just do it that way. I'm pretty sure we only need like a hundred, two hundred scaffolding. Four hundred and sixty-six? Well, I can carry that anyway. It's fine. Should have taken some more solar panels as well. Down we go. Oh, my bots just jumped out. I can't believe what a huge difference um, replacing the old trains with faster trains and fewer of them has made to the uh, to how long it takes to place a signal when it forces every train to repath. All right, and here we go. No shift click needed means everything's probably in place. We're definitely going to have to make multiple trips to uh, to get this done, I'm pretty sure. Are the trains K2 or SE or a separate mod? Uh, the space trains, I believe it's a separate mod. SE space trains. Yep. And there's our thermo fluid. Nice and quick. How is our thermofluid block looking? Not as full as I would have thought, potentially? Or am I trying to keep it so that this is always empty? No, this is... So we're trying to keep this full and this is available to be used in negative 275. Three degree thermo fluid. Okay. I'm surprised how empty the 25 degree thermo fluid is. Even if things haven't been cycling yet. Maybe it's about time I put some modules over here. Yeah, probably. That might help. Anyway, here's our... Second train load of blank data cards. Fantastic. Uh, looks like there's only... Oh. Okay. We're actually... Hmm. This belt is actually a severe bottleneck on loading these trains right now. This is, to be fair, when... Four train loads, uh, four trains have been summoned to take the uh, to take the blank data cards back to back, and we're only actually able to produce four per second. Really? Okay, I don't think bottlenecking this on forty-five per second is much of an issue um, at this stage. That's probably fine. Uh, but yeah, we've already got lots of blank data cards here. They're not even going to be needed until much later. The catalogs, on the other hand, are a much bigger deal. Do we have any solar panels left here? Nope. Alright, back to get reloaded. And then come back here after that, please. and build everything. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. What's your favorite dish containing eggs? 
Uh, I like omelettes. That's the first thing that comes to mind anyway. Missing rail on left side, right under the roundabout. Armadillo, don't. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You mean this? Um, it's functionally irrelevant for the moment. As long as the roundabout is there, they'll they'll be able to get in and out here. Uh, how's your stream, burgers? Thanks for the shout out, Veldak. All right, so we're gonna load up everything and just head straight back over there. Actually, I want to grab some extra solar panels while I'm here. Not the blueprints, an actual missing curved piece, bottom left corner. Actual missing curved piece. Do you mean like like here or something because we don't do that just because of how difficult or impossible it would be to fit the signals uh, in this spot top left corner of block top left oh true that's weird how did that happen Let's have a look at... Well, first of all, let's make sure my bots aren't... haven't gone walkabout. Uh, let me have a peek real quick at... Huh. I wonder how that happened. Okay. Good catch. Did we build everything? Actually, let's get the train to sit still for a sec. We're missing a bunch of belt and pipe. So it's just really high volume stuff. Let's go visit all of these spots where we're supposed to have um, solar panels that we haven't placed yet. Why can't I... Why can't I add a temp stop right now? Oh, because there's no path at the moment. Okay. Let me just drive it manually for a sec. Oh, wow, that, that acceleration is crazy. With the stone and sand byproducts from vulcanite processing and some iron mixed on the planet, making a reinforced plate, which will be fun as I network my other planets. Able to just pave the whole thing. <laughs> nice. Uh, why aren't the bots placing this bit of rail? There we go. Can we reach? We can reach. Beautiful and have some more solar panels. Uh, and then actually place the solar panels. Nice. It's so fast. Uh, did I make this too full? There we go. Alright. Uh, let's head up. Well, I've kind of messed it up. Let's bring this back a sec. And then we can temp stop up here. Wait, where are we going? Oh, okay. Also, the... The chatbot did not successfully solve... Into Burble, probably due to me doing a bad job of communicating the problem. GPT chatbot. What is that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Halt. Halt and see. 
Um, I think I prefer just having logistics enabled while moving. As much as sometimes the bots are going to make a long trip, uh, it means that things like these solar panels are going to get built without being forgotten so much. Okay. Back to get some more belt and pipe. Fantastic. OpenAI recently released a chatbot based on GPT-3. Interesting. Pardon me while I hydrate. Okay. I wonder if I could do a display that gives us a rough idea of just how close we are to filling up the train. I guess I could count the total number of items that we're trying to put in the train still. Um, it wouldn't be too well representative. I, I guess it would be just about as good as most progress bars with computers, right? Um, it would have parts where it goes really slow and then it would rush ahead and go slow again. But if I could get a list of... Why are we struggling with inserters now? Did we just run out? I may yet have not set up inserters up here. Um, do I have single cylinder? I think so. Oops. Do I have... Why do I only have 400 or so? Are we requesting them? Why not? Um, I just want to make sure... Everything I reasonably can. Insert a parts. I think you can prod mod insert a parts, right? Or am I wrong about that? Did I make a block for insert a parts? Or are we just doing it in the mall? You can prod mod inside of parts. Surely I have a block for it. In storage parts. Uh, actually, no. It's only for making the cargo rocket sections that I prod moduled insert of parts. I never did it back here. Well, I can hardly call it more wasteful if I make insert of parts up here, can I? Insert of parts. All right, take care, burgers. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks again for the raid. Uh, we'll need to make sure we have some inserter parts before we try making inserters. Do we have cores? We do? I can't remember if we're making them here. Yeah, we are. Okay, I should put parts here. All 
Alright, cool. We have some inserter parts. Only prod twos in cargo sections. Yeah, we're, we're, we're starting to phase out cargo sections, kind of, though, already. Well... Okay, that's partly a lie. We're working on it, okay? It's it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, and then I think we just do each type of inserter one after the, uh, one after the other, right? Um, probably need a few more than 50 for some of these, because we're asking for more than that over here. Let's just set each of them to 200. Why not? And I'll have to program in the prerequisite type inserters to stay in big green chest, somewhat. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I missed one. I did. Okay. So we need, whoop, uh, we need inserters, inserters, and inserters, and inserters. I think those are all the prereqs. Uh, and we also need inserter parts. Okay. Allow at least Oh, allow up to two stacks. Why is it paused? Oh, it's auto-saving. Allow a couple of stacks in that chest. That should be fine, I think. Oh, and I need to set a request for the inserter parts. There we go. That is kind of fast. Should get our train loaded up on inserters again in no time. Uh, you know what we can do though is... What's your problem? Oh, you're the vanilla train that goes up the elevator. Which means we're just kind of short on stone tablets, actually. Alright, first things first. Um, I would like all of these to be tier 3 machines. And then we'll put some prod 3s in them. I was about to do the prod 3s for the other build, but this is a little bit more urgent, I think. Uh, where's our construction train? Over here. Heat shielding. It's going to need some prods. And let's grab our module inserter. Prod threes. And go. That's our highest priority there. Uh, this one didn't get its upgrades yet. Could you please go get some more? And then come back here. Shouldn't have to empty it because we only took things out of the train, I think.
really need to do something about stone. Alright, prod those. You still don't have all the assembly threes? What? Oh, because it upgraded all of these. Uh, okay, fine. Is this thing loaded? It is. Let's go... Pay this area a visit once more. Wait for an activity. I'll jump out next to the spell evader. And that build should be complete after this trip. Uh, I didn't mean to bring space platform scaffolding downstairs. Maybe I'll just leave some here. And we'll give this a hand. I wonder where the demand for heat shielding is coming from all of a sudden. Am I not carrying prods? I guess not. Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Give me those prods. Is our train going in circles? Oh, I removed the condition. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. There we go. So we're going to get the most out of our inputs for heat shielding now. What about the actual block that makes... There's a few prods missing down here, but other than that we already did uh, ensure that we get the most out of stone brick into... Yeah, stone into stone brick into stone tablet. We've already maxed this out. Um, is there another heat shield recipe yet? There is. But it still needs stone tablet. Uh, it's a lot less stone tablet. It's a way less stone tablet and zero steel and a lot less sulfur at the cost of one iridium plate. Should I switch over to this already? Iridium is hardly our fastest resource. Um, I'm thinking not yet, despite how bad our stone situation is. What's the plan for today-ish? Um... I don't really have a specific plan for today. Oh wow, I already dropped all of those prods. Okay. Um, let me go grab some more, I guess. Is our train loaded? It is. Please wait here for a while. And I might need even more. I'll go back and get some more prods and stuff ahead of time. Uh, what's the plan for today? I was building uh, some rail blocks in space for uh, energy, uh, the beginning of energy and material science in the rail blocks, as opposed to the spaghetti. What was I here for? Oh yeah, we already got it. Assembly machine threes. Now give me some prod modules, and oh my god, there's no prod modules. Uh, I still see vulcanite blocks here, what are we short on? Processing units? Yeah? And green circuit? Oh god. Oh no. Um, what's processing units problem? Nothing? It's totally saturated. 
Um, did we mess up the request? A hundred hundred. It says we've got a hundred processing units here. That doesn't just mean my personal self, does it? No, there's somehow a hundred processing units. They're right here. Oh, okay. So because efficiency is saturated, and we've got a hundred processing units here, um, I just didn't set this high enough. I'll, I'll bump them all up by 10%. I should probably just add more storage to make sure I don't have to fly so close to the sun with running out of storage space with these things. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, that's good. I thought we were short on Vulcanite, was my first guess. Uh, but it looks like we're not even... Wow. Vulcanite blocks were actually saturated. That might be the first time in the whole playthrough. Um, I probably should do an updated... Uh, green circuit build because I can't see a good place to put a wide area beacon here or any beacon for that matter it's going to take a little while to catch up with the prods because I left this eventually broken. All is looking nice, thank you. Um, yeah, let's do a quick build of uh, green circuits. I think I want to replace this one. Is this actually the only block we've got making green circuits? Cool, that makes it easy. That makes it easy. Let's jump into the editor. Um, probably get rid of this. Still takes a little while to remove all the signals from one block. Um, get rid of the old power poles, actually. I can't believe I haven't updated that yet. Alright. Uh, wide area beacon version 1. Over here-ish. Some assembly 3s. Uh, I forgot. Green circuits are a little bit of a pain because we have to go through multiple steps and it's not really terribly feasible um, to do them in different blocks because the copper cables... Well, the copper cables actually... They're the same stack density as um, copper plate. It's just that having to belt them and especially have the inserters pick them up off belts, which we can get around with loaders potentially. Uh, this is the reason why we do the direct insertion builds with the copper cable going straight in. Maybe I should actually do a wood build. Um, 
I don't suppose I left room... I did. For some wide area beacons over here. Uh, I would have to edit this a little bit, but that would actually be really easy because these buildings are so big. So yeah, I could wide area beacon these. Uh, what do we got? 12, 24. And if we were to... They only fit three modules. We can't prod them, can we? I don't see why we'd want to. Uh, I guess it would cost less uh, stone. That's the whole point of using the wood recipe for this. Um, technically, I could go for the recipe where we only need water as an input. But I think even with the modules, it's probably going to be horrendously slow. Uh, maybe five of these. Negative 60% power consumption seems good to me. How fast is this? 51 wood per second. And if we had... Pretty typical number of machines over here. Fully prodded. Uh, prod plus speed. But with low power consumption. Negative 70 is fine. How many machines is this? 48. Uh, really? That would only need... Oh, wait, wait. 48 times this. I was going to say. 360 wood per second. Holy crap. Yeah, I think even with our stone shortage, realistically, we're not doing the wood electronic circuits at scale. Um, it also... I was going to say it also requires more copper cable, but actually it doesn't. Oh no, indeed. How much stone does this require anyway? 12.8 sand per second? Versus... Uh, 120 stone tablets per second. Which is like... 22.5 stone break per second. Which is like 39 stone per second. Um... Except I think I compared something wrong here. Okay, uh, 12.8 sand per second is... How much stone with prod trees? Oh, it's uh, maybe five. So about... Call it one stone becomes one, uh, becomes ten wood. Uh, and how much stone becomes one stone tablet, though? Okay, we need like 36 stone per second to support this, if it was the, the version that uses wood, not to mention a bunch of extra machines. Versus 120 stone tablets is about 22.5 stone, a little bit more. Uh, about 40 stone per second. It's not that different. 
surprisingly. I'm actually shocked at if we don't use the super slow water only recipe. Um, I'm actually shocked at how much stone we don't save. Uh, by adding that extra step. This would only be 12.8 wood per second, that is, you'd need vast quantities of these to keep up with green circuits. 12.8 gets you only 50 wood per sec, uh, need to bump, multiply by 6 or 7, yeah, and that's with the sand, which is just ultimately just giving us a discount on stone, which is surprisingly small, like 10% or something. Um, so I think we'll be going with the stone tablet version. Uh, and then the usual questions follow of like, are we going to do multiple production steps in the same place, which makes it hard to upgrade and keep good ratios? Or would it actually be worth producing copper cable somewhere else and bringing it here? Um, how fast would we need things? It's actually only a bit more than... oh wait. 366 copper cable per second is more than 8 belts. Yeah, that's a little fast. Not to mention the 122 stone tablets. Um, this is a bit much though. 161 green circuits per second from one half block. I would no longer say we have to worry about the trains keeping up with that though, because of how overpowered they are now. Um, but I think we probably should just design it with direct insertion or whatever. You have green belts, uh, that's true, although it does need precious imicite. Um, so what kind of ratio do we need for this stuff? I don't suppose it's gonna look anything like this. That would just be too easy. We're down 17.58. Don't tell me it's going to be 1 to 1. That would just be too good. Uh, we're very slightly negative. Okay, not very slightly. We're a bit negative if we have 1 to 1. For copper cable going into green circuits. Oh, wait. No, it's not because it's outside of the beacon. Because it isn't. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna do like... Oh, maybe I will. Except I wouldn't be able to fit it. Unless... That's still slightly negative. Oops. Okay. I don't see how we're going to elegantly fit it, but that's about the smallest ratio. Um, to not bottleneck on the copper cables. Put one speed in copper? Nah. I want to maximize the prods, especially for copper. It's one of our more problematic resources. Big Clown, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, what's the minimum to get, like, a pretty good ratio? Oh, that's literally just half of what I just did. Oh, that's actually still positive. Oh, I'm making it more positive, aren't I? Uh, let me just count it out like this. Okay. 
Uh, it does need. It does all need to be under the beacon. Oh, this is plus twenty percent power consumption. I'm not keen on that. Oh wait, I think this is already negative eighty. Yeah, this is. Hold on. Negative 70. I'm fine with that. Okay. That might change the ratios a bit. This is negative 6.3. This is slightly positive. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the sub. Five months. Much appreciated. How are you doing, Andy? Um, so I'm going to keep adding these at a ratio to 1 to 1 and see if it's still... Nope, never mind. The thing is, I can know exactly how much we're going to get without doing complicated math if I keep this in the green. So how many is this? 7 versus 10. Um, started a uranium primary planet last night. Nice. Always good to have an infinite source of that. Um, we can direct insert all of these, right? Actually, is it going to work that way? Like, or any... Any two of these going into one would be very positive. So yeah, I think it should. Right? I think. Why not just make it easy on yourself and go one to one? Because then we bottleneck on the copper cable and we only have a rough idea of how many green circuits we get. Um, we're going to be, like, about six-sevenths of the actual speed of this. Well, I guess I could calculate it. Uh, 7.5 over 6.6, .6, is that how this works? No, 6.6 .6 over 7.5. We should get 88% of 3.3 each, right? Not a number. There we go. So we should get 2.9 per second from each machine. Uh, and we, if we had a row like this... Wait, what? Uh, if we had 12 of them, 24... We could expect 70, almost green circuits per second. Two belts, in other words. Kanda Jr., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, how terrible to bottleneck on cables in excess. Wait, what? 69 per second? <laughs> nice. Uh, is that why we're going to do this? It, it would make a really nice, uh, no pun intended, uh, a nice What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, orderly layout. Uh, and we need the input for stone tablet as well. Individually, we're looking at, what was it, 2.9 per second each? Would a long arm be able to keep up? with direct inserting this stuff. Probably not. Uh, 6.6 .6 per second, almost. So I think... Well, I'd either have to have, like, loaders or direct inserting to a chest at the meantime, or I could just swap these around.
right? So I can have um, copper plate input here, direct insert here, and then stone tablet in. Stone tablet's only 2.5 per second each. Actually, if the output is like 2.9 per second, I don't know if I trust a long arm to do that. I could, I could just test it. We're not that far away from the uh, upgraded inserters, right? It only takes Material 2 and Astro 2. So I don't think I mind having it so that to really upgrade this later on to keep the shape, we'd need the new inserters. Um, and we would need them to put things on opposite sides of the belt. Alright, let's do some test inputs. How much plate is this anyway? It's only 30 per second. Copper plate. And then... How much stone tablet are we looking at? Only 30 per second. Fantastic. Where's stone tablet? There it is. Disguising itself as heat shield. So, question is, are all of these machines going to be able to go full speed? Uh, I mean, it's going to bottleneck on the copper cable, but other than that... Great calculator will tell you if the inserter can keep up. On paper, yes, but I believe it in, it assumes direct insertion, uh, as opposed to... why is this not working? Uh, as opposed to having to put things on the belt, which has kind of a variable rate, it depends. Like, see, this one isn't going as fast as the other ones because it has to wait for gaps. Um... I saw this was blocked for a second, but it might have been because it was catching up. Nope. Well, it's almost perfect. We could just allow this for now. And obviously it'll be fine when we upgrade it. Probably. Um, we are looking at significantly less than a full belt. So you'd think this would be fine, but no. That was in relation to using long arms for direct insertion. Indeed. Is the... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, is the one just above the middle also blocked? Sometimes too. Uh, it might be, yeah. Uh... Actually... Oh, it's this one. Yeah, you'd probably expect the exact same problem from this one. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, nope, there it is. It does occasionally stop to wait for the inserter. Uh, you know what we could do instead, though? is just output it with loaders. I mean, it doesn't have to be loaders, but more to the point, we're merging into it. Um, and that way we can be sure. So we're just going to go with... Mm, 
Now that I look at it... There might not be as much space here as I thought for the loaders, but we really don't need it to be loaders. We can just do it like this. Um, I really don't think... Oh, that's going to be on the opposite side. Well, actually, I want these ones to be near side. Uh, we probably don't have to do this all the way back, but just to demonstrate. If the inserters always have space... Um, where they output, then they're going to be reliable. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can squeeze loaders in here in such a way that they're going to output to both sides of the belt. Unless... Yeah, I think the machines would need to be bigger. Unless I was going to push this further out, which I could just do that. Like that, maybe. Hold on. But then we're doing like... Kind of the odd pairs. Is that a problem though? Maybe a little bit? Not really? definitely wider than I would have liked, but we've got plenty of space. You have room for two loaders and splitters, indeed. Do you leave, uh, do you have access to larger slash advanced assembly? Oh, I completely forgot about those. I think we do already have advanced assembly machines. I haven't built any yet. Uh, yeah, we need Immersium Beam. And heavy bearing, which we've got plenty of. Uh, have I made... I don't believe I've actually made a build for Immersium Beams yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're straightforward. It's literally just plate into beam. We can do that here. Uh, let's see what it would look like with advanced assembly machines. So what's the difference? Let's Let's compare them without any... Any buffs. Crafting speed 1.25, and it's got four modules, slots. Uh, crafting sp but let's do something that can do prod modules. Uh, crafting speed 5? Uh, and it's 5x5. Five five. Yeah, 5x5 five five as opposed to 3x3, three three, which makes it a lot easier to do inputs and outputs um, at scale. Uh, and it has just the same number of... I'm slightly disappointed, but I, I think it, I, I understand they didn't want to give us even more productivity bonus just by having these. Um, that could potentially be a bit game-breaking with some of the production chains. But... Damn. Um... It's four times faster. One more module slot would be insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. 
we can probably do something with this. In fact, I don't think I want to build this at all. Like, I won't even keep it there as an alternative. How do we make these? Oops. Advanced assembly machine. We do need the assembly threes. I'm kind of glad because then I don't have to like switch off the production chains for the old machines. Negative 2.5 hours and another 4.5 hours is normal stream time? Negative 2.5. How do you go into the editor so quickly? Uh, control E is the shortcut. Um, but beyond that, it is a mod called Editor Extensions. Uh, and you want to go into Mod Settings, Per Player tab, and it's the last setting underneath Editor Extensions. Uh, by default, this is off. Um, if you set it to Personal or Force, you can have a surface that's just parallel to your main game. Um, let's, let's see what this layout would look like. First of all, I want some prods in it, and then green circuits. Those modules look big. Um, the size is a lot less of a problem than the big pulverizers. That's looking like a good fit. When T-Hacks normally starts, and how much longer streaming for? Indeed. Uh, a one-to-one -one ratio might be a little bit worse, because we've basically got more machines. Slash, they are faster. Um, we're actually negative 28.8 copper cable here, out of... It's 211 out of 240, but we're probably still getting about 100 electronic circuits per second. That's kind of a lot. Two belts of copper plate in, two belts of stone tablet in, more than two belts of electronic circuit out, uh, if I fit it together like this. Can I even fit? Oh, right, I forgot. No, wait, I didn't. We do have stone tablets directly in the rail system. Speaking of which, I need to make sure those prods are over there. That should be enough. Um, I don't think we necessarily need to go this fast in one half a block. Just maybe. That is going to saturate two output belts. Uh, and that is very slightly positive on the copper cable. Okay. And we get a nice almost symmetrical layout here. I say just go for two belts of green chips out, indeed. Perfect. Uh, what was that? Electricity. Oh, that's kind of a lot of electricity. Or was it not considering the beacon? Uh, how much does it normally consume? Almost a megawatt. That's kind of a lot. All right, so we're looking at 26.4 cable per second. Why does it keep going to electricity when I do the rate calc? What? What? This is, this is not helpful. What did I change? 
settings, mods, rate calculator. Is that... I don't think it even has any mod settings. Your tooltip says electricity now? Oh, hey. Yeah, but... But why? I... Why... Why are you like this? Normally it just sticks to whatever thing you were rate calculating last time, right? Shift plus mouse wheel? Oh. Uh, okay. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing zero discoverability on that particular input combination. Schnutsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the rescue. Um, so how do I want to do this? If we're going to have seven of these, I obviously want one in the middle, but like... Oh, these are barely covered by the beacon as well. So they kind of have to be there. Um, we're looking at... 26 copper cable out of each of these. I think we should just use loaders, to be honest. 26 per second. So maybe... Like this. I mean, technically a red one would be fast enough. Uh, and where are you going to get the rest of your inputs, though? How much is needed here? Two belts of copper plate. And two belts of stone tablet. That might be tricky. I could do undergrounds. Uh, well, that's not going to help. But I was thinking we could have more inputs down this way. Um, individually, we're looking for 10 stone tablet per second. For a total of 70. Let's see... If we did this layout again... I think it's going to take up a bit too much space. It's just barely too much space to do those inputs that way. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. What happened to that uh, layout that I came up with that I was rather pleased with? I think this is it. This is a belt of output that gets merged and a belt of input that gets merged. And it's one, two, three, four, five tiles. Um, that would obviously be pretty good, except that we're not just doing a belt of IO. Where's my blue belt? I 
think that's it. Okay, so... If we had these here, then there wouldn't be any room. Wait, wait, wait. I could do input and output on this side, right? Am I going to have room to do it twice? Maybe not. I could do stack inserters to input from this straight to this. So then this would be a lot less wide. So if we have the stone tablet input and green circuit output like like that. And then I shouldn't have moved that that way. Can we fit the stack inserters? We could do two here, two here, two here, two here. Yeah, I think so. Um, with direct insertion? I think the stack inserters can probably keep up. And it wouldn't have to take up that much space. And then we have a beacon like here. That's an awful lot of inserters. Who knows, maybe we don't even need that many. Uh, and then we need two belts of uh, copper plate input on this side. How fast? 10 per second each. Which I could do with a couple of stack inserters, but I'd prefer not to do it that way. Um, wasn't it like this? Yeah, we could do inputs this way, except we need two belts to keep up with these eight machines. So, one, two, three, four, this one... I did the wrong one there. This one could go like that. And this one... Like this. Potentially. Oh wow, that barely reaches. Convenient. I think I kind of want to move them all up by like one tile. For the look of it. Should that really be four inserters from wire to circuits, not three? Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so... That's looking like a pretty good fit, actually. That's looking like a really good fit. So if we have copper plate like so and stone tablet like so hold up that's the output stone tablet I don't think we need this many inserters. Based on how often they're swinging. Oh, we could also actually keep the output going. That might help with the testing. Um, 
Oh yeah, the ones up the top are gonna saturate first, right? Because we are slightly... Oh wait, this is 92 per second. Oh crap, this would actually be four belts of green circuits, not two. Um, okay, that, uh, that changes things slightly. How many have we got here? Seven. That makes it a little awkward. But I'm pretty sure we can probably merge these things uh, in a way that makes sense. Probably. Um, lest I get confused, let me just copy, paste, flip this, and, and why doesn't that reach? Oh, I see. Uh, but what's the problem on this side? No inserters. Four belts, let's go, indeed. Um, they're not going to be balanced, but I don't necessarily think that's a problem. Uh, did I want to prioritize? Probably yes. The, uh, the back lot should saturate the middle belts first, and then the excess. Oh wait, how many belts, how, how many is this? Um, it's only three, so that's going to be 39, and then this four is going to be 52. Uh, so actually I probably want this to also merge over here, and this will go here. And I guess this, um, this one here doesn't matter. Now I do want to prioritize the the right side here, I think. And apparently we're short on stone tablets. Did I miscalculate? 70 per... Oh yeah. God, I did it again. We actually need two belts of stone tablets on this side. Which, um... Which I'm not sure... I don't think... Well... I don't necessarily see a way to merge in more stone... Stone tablets on this side. Splitting the output of machine 3, you need to split machine 4, indeed. Send half up from the bottom? Half up from the bottom. Oh, I see what you mean. Hmm. Hmm. I'd really like to just send more stone belt down this way. And then, well, I guess down the exact middle. And then the question is where we could go from there. I know this one's not getting as much as it should. This one's saturated. The beacon's kind of in the way for merging it in here somehow. Alternatively, 
Uh, if we only need 70, then... If we merge it in after three machines... Theoretically, we sh should be able to... How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Merge it in after four, since the first four only need 40. Uh, true, true, true. Except this one keeps being short on stone tablets. The fourth one in. Oh, probably just because of the way this splits and continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if we merge in here somehow, or just, you know, don't continue this belt down, and bring this in this way instead. Something like that. Right? Then the fourth one should start getting enough to stay saturated. Yeah, it looks like that was easier than expected. Nice. Okay, uh, we want to delete everything on the left and copy paste flip to make sure that we do it exactly the same way. That works indeed. It do be working. Uh, and it should saturate the input belts eventually. Right? Since we're pushing through 90 per second, but we only need 70. Well, we're pushing 45 into the first 40. And we're pushing 45 into the last 30. But these uh, with these belts, you might be the first streamer sponsored by a pasta company? What do you mean? This is lovely, organized, non-spaghetti. How, how could you? Alex Hudson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not even past my first coffee and I already having to do belt math and magic. Um, I think I kind of like this moved up a tile, for the look of it. Yeah. That should be fine. And we could have it so that... Uh, we can pick it up with a short train if... I think I prefer to do it this way. We'll just limit the front to... Uh, limit both of them to 50 stacks. And then we don't have to worry about any shenanigans. And this one can contain as much as it likes. So that goes there, that goes... Uh, here, I guess. What's the neatest way to do this part? Okay. 
don't hate that. Alright, that is pretty tidy for a green circuit build. Um, so what's our rate again for input? Uh... 144 copper plate, 140 stone tablet. Uh, but yeah, we need two belts and two belts for the inputs on each side. So I think we'll just take that from here. Um, station's kind of in the way if I went straight this way. Just do it like this. Stone tablet. Uh, copper plate. And something like that. Seems good. Uh, and then the stone tablets need to go down the middle and here and here. And I don't think it's going to be a problem if we just take straight from the input containers. As long as we're not requesting too much, it won't get too imbalanced. Um, so if we go for, like... Well, we could go as many as three train loads. Three cargo wagons full. No, six cargo wagons full. Right? Yeah, six cargo wagons full on each side. So if we ask for a couple of train loads um, of each resource, um, that should be enough of a buffer. Does it stack to 100? It does. Hold on, I feel like I miscalculated a little bit there. May may have been off by one decimal place. Uh, 50 times 100 times 2. So 100 times 100. 10k, 20k is two train loads. Perfect. This build is insane, indeed. Yeah, hopefully we won't need too many of them. Um, and we're going to go provide stack threshold 100. But I will... Actually... I guess technically I need to account for a few of them missing on the belts. Right? Is it possible that we could have 100 stacks in these three containers and then the train comes and it doesn't quite get what it's looking for? I think so. We'll bump it up a little bit. Um, hundred and five stacks. Make it a hundred and ten. Why not? Make sure there's always some here available to steal if we desperately need it. Electronic circuit provider. Short trains are permitted. Not even using proper modules yet, <laughs> indeed. I've got some belts to upgrade into as well, though, so it should be okay. Uh, and let's do... Uh, let's just do one last test. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, copper plate. There we go. And C 
see just how quickly this uh, fills up, actually. Why is there... Why is there stone tablet making its way down here? Because I... Wait, what? Uh... Whoops. And this is why we test. Where's the green circuit output supposed to be going? Well, there's your problem. Okay, stop. Stop the inputs. Um, tell you what, just eat all the outputs. Lol, indeed. That would have been fun if we built that thinking it works perfectly. Actually, you can put this back. That's fine. Okay, so... Stone tablet goes here, and then... And then what? Where was it supposed to go? This was supposed to be stone tablet. And this was supposed to be green circuit output. Which means that's actually in the right place? So how did stone tablets find their way... Uh-oh. Plugged the input to the output line? Yeah, I'm so confused at this point. Um, You know what? Just reconnect it so I can see better where these things are going. Did I ever set it up properly? Okay, so this is input. Um, oh, I never... Wait, was that supposed to be stone tablet all along? Did I, like, second guess it when I was doing it right? Is that all it is? I think so. Beautiful. That looks really nice. Trotsky, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for the two months. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I think that is our build. It should be 180 per second, but it's barely not, and I'm blaming priority at machine 3. Should be 180. I mean, yeah. Priority at machine 3, what do you mean by that? Technically, you need another yellow belt of circuit output from the last machines, possibly. Um... No? What? Uh, 
Oh, copper cable isn't actually keeping up. Uh, I don't have enough inserters. Okay. Is it because... I'm hoping I don't have to put, like, double the inserters um, for this to work. So each of these machines has two stack inserters for output. I'm still seeing a gap. Yeah, this one's not getting... Huh. It doesn't look like we're having trouble keeping up with the output here. Oh, it says we're net negative on copper cable. What? No way. Didn't we math it out before? What? What? One of the machines not beaconed? <laughs> You're right. And look at this. Uh, we literally just need to move the beacon down one tile, except... Except... Um... Can I move all of this stuff down a tile? I think I can. And then I would like to move all of this up one. So the beacon's in the, the usual spot. Okay. And then it's probably going to bust something somewhere or not. I'm still seeing gaps, which I'm not terribly surprised by. There's usually little gaps when on paper it should be more than saturated. But we're not even doing any inserters for output. We're doing loaders and using both sides of the belt and merging. Do the loaders prefer to use one side of the belt? I don't think that matters. As long as there's the room. No, it shouldn't matter, I think. This one is having trouble outputting. Green circuit output split off is an issue. What? Well, it's almost 180 per second. After you take the belt off the past, the third machine, do not split, take the entire belt. Except we're taking it from the fourth one, which is more than half. It's 52.8 per second. 
So then I'm priority sending it down this way and sending the rest down here. Yeah, after the fourth you do need the splitter. If it... I think it's actually... I think despite trying to think through it, um, and logically, I don't think it should, but looking at what I'm seeing before me, I think it is actually problem a problem that the loaders seem to prefer outputting to one side. They very much prefer outputting on the left side of the belt. So unless we were to put some lane balances in, actually, I I would be surprised if putting a lane balancer at the end of it would be enough, uh, would be able to fix it, but I'm very curious uh, to find out. I can actually fit it here. So this would go here. Uh, and we're full. Does that actually do it? Because I would have thought I would have to, like, allow, like, rebalance the lanes up here and here and here or something like that. But on the other hand, I've seen... I've seen that as long as you have a lane balancer somewhere, it works itself out, usually before... It actually does look like it's uh, totally saturated. Lane balancer will do nothing. It doesn't appear to be doing nothing. It appears to be keeping everything totally saturated. Like, spot the gap in the output. If you can find any gaps here, then... Oh! Okay, that might have had something to do with the fact that I stopped it for a little while. Maybe. There is occasionally a tiny gap coming through only on this side, which is weird. Then again, this has had longer to be saturated since I just blocked it. Oh, there is just one. It's fewer gaps. But there are occasional little gaps um, in the output. Cutting the output made a backlog, yeah. I mean, I can clear it just like this. That's the magic of the editor. Yeah, see how heavily the loaders prefer to output on one side? Seems like a classic case of good enough to me. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm not going to include this uh, UPS devourer right here just for the sake of, like, what? Three green circuits per second only when this thing's running full speed, which it won't need to. Um, but it's more of an academic exercise. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll do. Uh, let's put this down here, and... If this was one tile to the left, this would look neater, but... Alas. Let's just do it like this, I guess. You know what? 
Um, for the sake of consistency, I kind of want it to look like that. That seems okay to me. Technically, we really only need two belts out on each side, but if a short train comes and takes from here, I'd like this to sort itself out sooner rather than later. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. We are looking for copper plate and stone tablet. It's going into an advanced assembly machine and out comes electronic circuit. Uh, and we've already done the requests. Wires are connected. Station is named. Constant combinator is set. Same thing on this end. I think we're good to blueprint. Um, and honestly, I'd be shocked if I have to double this anytime soon, but we've got room to very easily do that, of course. Um, but first I have to make 30 advanced assembly machines. Oops. Snap to grid. Train stop names. Make sure I removed the cheat items. Advanced assembly machine almost feels like a cheat item. Actually, it's not that OP. It's just a nice UPS saver, really. Um, components. There we go. Technically, that's a 0.2% UPS save on this build. To only have two belts there, aka good enough to leave it. Indeed. Um, I need to do the build for... Oh, I just thought of a catch-22. Um, can I actually handcraft... Immersium beams? I think I can. That would be very convenient. Oh, I can. Thank goodness. Because so I want to build the build that makes the Immersium beams. Uh, with advanced assembly machines as well. Let's do that here. How much power do they consume again? Like, minimum? Negative 70% is 278 kilowatts. I think I can live with that. Uh, so once again... Out with the old power poles. Just double checking, I did in fact make those lighted pylon substations. Uh, and the recipe we're looking for is Immersium Beam. This should be pretty straightforward. Should be very straightforward, actually. Let's see what it looks like if we cram in as many as possible. Well, that seems kind of fast. Um, about a belt and a half of Immersium Beam out. Could probably just go for the minimum power consumption. Could probably just go for the minimum up here as well. How fast would that be? Uh, it would still be 147 electronic circuits per second. And there'd probably be no issues with the output that way. 
regardless. Wait, where am I looking? There we go. Uh, let's do some immersion plate. Straight into here. How fast are these individually? Quite slow, actually. We can just do regular inserters with no issues. Put some long arms over here, even. 2.666 input. Um, I'll just double check that it can keep up with that. I think it probably can. And down here as well. Oops. That might look a bit tidier. So how much are we looking at again? Um, just under two belts of input. So it should be fine to do it this way. Oh, that's unfortunate. What? Oh, that's output. Dub. Actually just go like that. But then it's so inconsistent with this part. Maybe maybe a shared container in the middle look a lot neater. Bust out the old delivery cannon chests. Yeah, I think that's going to be much better. And we can just do one like this. And let's just double check uh, that all of that is going to keep up. Where's my inserter? Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, the long arms, though. This will be even slower, I think. Two becomes one, except for the prod bonus. Do it into a shared container, and then limit each of these. Nice and easy. Arms are not having any trouble. All right, cool. Total overkill, I should think so. Hey, Bokhaza, hey. hey hey, thank you very much for the prime sub and the two months. Much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. 
one of the things I like about this setup is there's no, uh, there isn't a moment where, like, the immersion beams disappear from the circuit network's knowledge of them as it goes from this container to these containers. So I can just set this to provide stack threshold 100. I think we want to take these up to space as well, though. So I might set it a bit higher. I could even make sure this whole thing is saturated before we summon an LTN train, but I don't necessarily think that's necessary. Um, but yeah, we'll wait till there's 20 stacks in this chest before we tell LTN that this is available. Uh, Vanilla Train will come and take from here straight away regardless. Um, but yeah, this will be Beam Provider. And this is uh, Immersion Plate Requester. Uh, goes into advanced assembly machine and out pops immersion beam. And then long trains only, we are requesting plate, all caps, uh, stacks to 100, couple of train loads, should be fine. And, uh, probably tell LTN what's here as well, though. Unless I want to just drop it to, like, one train load. How fast does it consume the plate? Kind of fast. Yeah, I'll leave it at two train loads. I'll let LTN know about this part, though. Alright, let's blueprint. And Immersium Beam. Is that how you spell it? Only one or only two M's. And that is our blueprint. Fantastic. Looks good. Uh, components, I guess. Where did I put the other Immersium stuff? It's in here somewhere. It's way down here. I guess I'll put it next to that one. Oh boy. This is getting out of hand. There we go. And let's go and actually build this thing. So we can start automating uh, advanced assembly machines. Get our construction train and bring it over this way. And I'll need some more uh, heavy bearings and electric furnaces. Electric furnace. Uh, there's actually quite a few of them apparently. Wow. Oh, that's right, I remember. We were producing electric furnaces here instead of in a rail block to reach the threshold to get them delivered over here. That makes sense. Let's go get some bearings as well. Um, which are way down here. Fantastic. 
It's actually not totally saturated. We're out of beams. Um, is our emisite busted or is it just slow or something? Oh, sorry, iridite. You read? Hold on. Core fragment. Core fragment. Iridite. Production. Bracket iridite. Uh oh. Oh, it's been busted for seven and a half hours. Um, that's a problem. That, that's actually... It's full, though. Okay, so it's not a problem with Gibbel? Don't think it's a problem with Gibbel. So why? Don't tell me when I updated something with the core fragment processing. Uh, iridite is actually saturated. Okay, are we missing some other input? Crushed irid. Oh no, is this it? It's 160 stacks, so no, I don't think so. Good chance some recipe changed? No, I don't I don't update for the most part when I'm doing a playthrough like this. Um, hold up. You're joking. Sand is saturated? Oh. Okay. Is that it? Really? I guess it must have taken a long time for this mistake to manifest. Because the whole block, if it's going full speed, gives us 4.2 sand per second. Uh, how many stacks is this? A hundred and ninety-six. So yes, that should be enough to trigger a delivery. I'm pretty sure we have a shortage of stone right now, so I'd be surprised if... I'd be very surprised if this didn't have a place to go yet. Uh, where's the build that we were just looking at. Provide stack threshold 160. Um, short or long trains are fine, I think. High priority. Combinator is switched on. LTN can see all of this sand. It's not getting scheduled to get taken away, though. But yeah, you can see there's just a little bit less crushed iridite than one train load back here. Um, so it's not getting delivered. Alright, I guess I'll put in a temporary... That's not how that works. Uh, temporary sand storage. Well, now there just needs to be demand for sand. Yeah, I'm really surprised to not see this immediately picked up. Tiny Goliath, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Hughes Mike as well, good to see you again also. All right, well, Erudite is moving again, which now, the, now you're picking up the sand. I, I see how it is. I see how it is. Alright, I'm just gonna limit this to zero. Yeah, 
and push this back in here, actually. You know what? Just hurry up. There we go. Okay. Uh, that makes me wonder if I should be using the Iridite recipe. Uh, the alternate recipe for I don't remember what that we looked at earlier this stream. Oh, except... Yeah, it was for Heat Shield. Uh, it would save us some stone tablet. Do I have room here? Did I leave an upgrade path? I don't think I did. I'll probably remake it with the advanced assembly machines anyway. Uh, let's stop getting sidetracked for a minute and get excited about our new builds. Uh, let's see. Advanced assembly machine, go. I'll take a few more of these. What's the alternate heat shield? It is plus iridite minus everything else. So normally one heat shield is 8 sulfur, 20 stone tablet, and 2 steel plate. Uh, this gives us 2 heat shield for 1 iridium plate, 4 stone tablet, and 1 sulfur. Um, it's a bargain, frankly. And I'm looking at it now again, especially knowing that our iridite stopped for artificial reasons, like it's not actually a material shortage. Um, I'm thinking I should probably switch over to that. Uh, but yeah, give me some more, more of these, and we'll handcraft a few more. Who took my heavy bearings? Did I actually dismiss all of them? Uh-oh. Heavy bearings. Give me some more advanced assembly machines. That should be more than enough to get started. Dismissed all of them into the network. Whoops. Uh, I guess I should probably redo the auto-crafter now that we've got these. I mean, it's really not strictly necessary. Actually, I think it's more important for the auto-crafter to have a bunch of different things it can craft in parallel. Uh, if I did a circle, or square, whatever, if I did a bunch of advanced assembly machines around... Maybe? No. I can't quite fit eight of them. I don't think. Well, not in a radially symmetrical pattern. Ah! <gasps> no, no, no. Pro prod modules, prod modules. Don't waste the precious immersium. Give me those prods. That's quite a lot of prods. Get in there. Okay. Um, should probably go get some speed and efficiency modules as well. Or I could just bring the construction train over. That should do it. Uh, and apparently my inventory is full, actually. There we go. What was I about to check? Oh, yeah. So, if we were to have the biggest container surrounded by advanced assembly machines, we couldn't fit them like this if we wanted to have eight, but maybe we could do 
like a windmill kind of thing. That doesn't seem too bad. And we could easily have one stack inserter in and out for each machine. Uh, could we have some lubricant input? I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't suppose any of the big storage tanks we have would fit together conveniently with any of these. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Inventory full of prod molds. Life could be so much worse, indeed. Um, I'm not seeing an opportunity for the elegant way we managed to fit together our uh, fluids like last time. Not even close. Could you stop flashing me? It's very rude. There we go. Yeah, I'm not seeing realistically the potential for a nice layout. For our lubricant, I don't think. Yes, that's not too bad. It's kind of alien, honestly. Oh. Oh no, that should be okay. I think. Um. Yeah, we can... We can put the crafting combinators, like, here, right? That should be fine. Is there a long stack inserter? Uh, kind of. There is a, a superior long inserter that we're actually not that far off research-wise. Since then, you could just bump the machines out a space more. That's a good point, actually. That might be a very good point. Would they be faster? Well, no. It There's a short superior inserter as well, so... That's gonna... That's gonna be to stack inserter by a lot, right? What's the stats on this? Rotation speed 1296 degrees per second. It has the same stack size as a stack inserter. It's actually not that much faster. It's like 50% maybe? Eight. Was it 896 or 864 times 1.5? Yeah, it's exactly 50% faster than a stack inserter. What about the superior long arm? Stack size 12. Uh, it also rotates at 1296 per second. Even though it's longer. Okay then. Yeah, um... In a, in a technical sense, the... Uh, the short one is just worse. Alright, well, this is 50% faster than a stack inserter. Long supremacy, indeed. 
Lazy RPG. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They aren't superior for for no reason. Yeah. Uh, Midden, good to see you again also. Yeah, maybe I will do um, a new auto crafter once I have the superior long inserters. I'm pretty sure these will have the same stats. Uh, yep, 1296 degrees per second. Max stack size is the same as a stack inserter. Alright, well, that makes it pretty easy. Actually, I think, uh, if we really want to... Oh, wait. I was gonna say... I was gonna say we could just have our lubricant lined up like this. But how are they gonna connect to each other? Maybe if we did the slightly smaller one... And we can connect like so. Seems good. All right, well, that's actually going to be pretty easy to make a nice layout. Uh, how's our build coming along over here? We need some more... Has my handcrafting been paused this entire time? Oh well. Let's finish... Let's just finish handcrafting the ones we've got here, and then we'll set it up. Actually, while we're waiting for that, I'll set it up so that... Um, our auto-crafter will do it. So we're going to need beams and bearings. I think is the only thing I have to add over here. Ten K and I don't think I've yet requested bearings, so we may as well put it next to this one. Actually, have I not requested iridium beams yet either? Heavy girders. I'll just leave a gap for that. How big trains do you run usually? Uh, last playthrough, I was using four length trains in most places. This time I've gone for two. Uh, I do have some exceptions to the rule, like our construction trains over here are three cargo wagons long, um, just because of how they fit in this build. I've got a concrete train that's actually six cargo wagons long over here. Speaking of which, it must be fully charged by now. Uh, let's go build some... Well, first of all, let's get this build finished. Where was it? Around the rocket control units? Let's get this stone, etc. placed. Wait for inactivity. Um, and I guess this as well. That'll mostly get built. Actually, after you do that, go over here. And that'll get more of the world paved. It does kind of block traffic though, but it won't be here too long. I hope. Anyway, uh, we've got our bearings. Let's make that 6k, actually. Should be making sure I don't jam these things by not summoning a train when we're down to, like, two of something. 4,000. Well, that's an old setting. I 
I need to update all these. But the important thing is bearings and immersion beams are on their way. Uh, and we need to add... Advanced, looks like I left a gap for it. Advanced assembly machine. Make sure we have at least 50. I guess we won't need the machines in as high numbers. Um where usually we fit like 48 on one buff block. Alright, we've got our trickle of beams incoming. I'll just steal some this time. Pretty sure it's all set up for LTN to recognize it. And let's head over to the mall. I noticed that Logi 5 hasn't been going anywhere for a while. Um, do we have our catalog catalogs here? We do. So we're all caught up on that. We've been slowly getting rid of the contaminated scrap. It's actually not the thing that we have the most of here anymore. That's nice. I wonder what we're missing here. Uh, material 2. Material 2, basically. I wonder what... There's no testing packs. Because there's no emesite crystal. Because... There's just not that much of it. Okay, so we're basically out of Immersite Crystal, more or less. Uh, I need to put heavy bearings... ...and Immersite Beams. Immersite Beam? into this chest, and I need to whitelist it. Oh. That should get us... Oh, I need to add assembly threes as well, I think. Because those weren't prerequisite previously. There we go. Automatic advanced assembly machines. What a beautiful sight. Uh, let's produce a few more than 50, though, maybe? Actually, that should be fine, based on what we've done before. Um, and I want... I'll probably keep the advanced, uh, the assembly machine threes here for now. But we'll request a couple of stacks of those over here. And that'll find its way into the construction train. Why? Why are we still... Cycling charged power packs back? Space train power pack charged. Oh no. Because we're... S oh no. Um... Um... Just all of them. All of them. Stop bringing charged power packs in here, please. Uh, I dare say there's probably a few. There's 1.8k charged space train power packs in the mall. Oh dear. That's a little bit wasteful. 
those things are kind of expensive too. Where are you getting Imosite from? Looks like you'll need loads. Yeah, we don't have any infinite sources of Imosite yet. Um, I've been getting crappy amounts of it from Hagen. There's also Gibil, which um, looks like the most recent mines that I added got emptied. Um, I probably need to just go build some more mines from Gibil, to be honest. Here's 1.4 mil. Like, if we look at the entity search for raw imasite, uh, this is what we've got on Gibil, and I've got the processing to send it back as um, crushed imasite and glass, so it's not quite as stack undense. Uh, but yeah, we've got like lots and lots and lots of imasite, like 1.4 mil, 2.2, 2.7, 202k, 651. Uh, if I go back to Hagen and do the same search from the mall, we're looking at like what, 157k at best? Oh, here's 189k. It's kind of far away. It's like half the planet away, actually. Um, so really I just need to bother to make some more mines on Gibil uh, for raw imasite. But I would prefer to set up an infinite source. Um, but I don't think we have any in the solar system. We don't. I haven't actually gone interstellar yet. I could, it would just mean an awful lot of rocket crashes. There's three mil on Gibble. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, there's a lot more on Gibble. Um, but I'm not overly concerned about that for the moment. Um... Am I requesting advanced assembly machines? Nope. Probably should. Here they come. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot. Uh, we were trying to get them into... Oh, wow. That was quick. We've already got 50 in this train. Fantastic. Go finish this build, please. The prod modules are going to go further as well, because we don't need as many machines. Kind of makes me want to do... want to, like, redo every build, to be honest. Huh? Didn't you have... Okay, there you go. There you go. Cool, so that is 56 beams per second. I think that is a little more than we need for a while. Is there a reason to use rockets instead of spaceships for interstellar? Uh, yeah, you have access to them way, 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 way sooner, but that's the only reason. That is... that is all. Uh, what was the build that I wanted to do that was the reason that I made the Imosite beams? Oh yeah, the new green circuit build. Um, which, honestly, I'd probably like to just replace the one we've got, even if it needs a bit of downtime. Oh, we're requesting stone brick here as well. It's going to make it a little, a little bit more of a nuisance to drain this out, but probably won't take that long, to be honest. Let's just put a couple of beacons down the middle. Beacon sickness? Oh. Okay. Uh, I should probably be carrying some... Speed and efficiency modules. 
Probably don't need that many. You know what? Just suck up some power and get these stone bricks out of my sight sooner rather than later. From my experience, you know they never land, indeed. Alright, how fast are we going through these stone bricks? 40 per second, that's a bit faster than I thought. It doesn't look like we're going through 40 per second. Oh, that would be if this was actually going full speed, I guess. But, no, I only beaconed like half of this, that's why. Can I... Cover the rest? I think so. That's going to be a little bit faster. 200... Okay, we're definitely bottlenecking on... The green circuits here, uh, the belt here. Um, there we go. Let's just let that run out for a minute. I also wanted to upgrade the prod modules over here. Where possible. Might need some more prods than that. Let's send the construction train as well. Oh, I think I interrupted it. Whoops. Hopefully it's actually got some prod modules. Fantastic. I may have overdone the number I'm carrying. And there we go. Alright, so maximum productivity for all the cargo rocket sections. Let's grab this random stone. Oh, the idea was to automatically place it. Like that. Speaking of which, um, okay, I don't know exactly how long it's been, but it looks like the solar panels are more than enough. Oh, here we go, a couple of RoboPorts are still charging. But yeah, for our uh, concreting train seems to be sufficient. Uh, why don't we put a concrete block here while while it's already on its way? Um, and actually, I want... There we go. I want that to be the default. For that blueprint book. Alright, did we get rid of the stone bricks? We actually got rid of the copper instead. How about... We do this old trick. And move all the copper over here. Fantastic. probably deconstruct this side. It's all in the robot network next to the mall, actually. I should have just not worried about draining out the old stuff. Alright. I don't know how soon we're going to need this again. Did 
that's actually still taking longer than I would like. Get out of here. And... Uh, the copper can stay. Right side has no bricks, indeed. Uh, rocket tax? Yes. Three arrow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, the rocket tax is kind of high. And also just annoying. I, I just don't like the crashing rockets. And having to have way too big of a radius of roboports to catch all the uh, crashed items as well. Alright. We've got to get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. Um, and let's grab our new blueprint. If I can remember where I put it. Fantastic. Make sure that's connected. Uh-oh. What kind of train is coming? Copper? Uh, that's actually fine. Ship C. And are we missing anything? Connections down here. And the fact that this should be limited to five... 50 stacks on each side. And pick items up off the ground. And bring over the construction train. Uh, I would also like to make sure... We've got all the new power poles. Fantastic. Why is it connecting that wire there, though? Be gone. Alright. Did I switch this off? No? Oh, we're just waiting on the stone tablets. Um... That might be a little bit of an issue. I could update the stone t uh, tablet build while I'm at it. I don't know how desperately urgent that is, though. Um, do I just need to tap some more stone mines? Is that how it is? We got 1.6... Oh, that's... I was going to say that's very far away, but it's actually very close to our rail system uh, that we've already got here. Let's give this a provide threshold of one so that it summons a train. Get rid of the old stuff. And I guess we'll put our station... Oh, I, was, I, I should just do, do a lazy mine, actually. About here. That's rotated the wrong way. Um, there we go. Might want to move these. Actually, let's use some uh, substation pylons in this case. That, that should already be covered. I think it is. And... 
that should be all the coverage we need on that end. I think all of those wires are connected. And all of these wires are connected. Beautiful. Looks like that got rid of the last of our insight crystals over here. Let's jump in the construction train for this one. Which is still not fully loaded because it's looking for constant combinators of all things. Oh, it's full. Uh, there we go. All right, construction train. Off we go. Nice and fast. Maybe decon items on ground since you cluttered quite a bit? Uh, yeah, I did that. I did indeed. Just didn't say it out loud. There were some items down here, for example. That is a that is probably the neatest green circuit build I've ever seen. Alright, actually set this thing to manual. I want to get rid of the old mine. And we'll add some pylons over yonder. And pylon substation literally only need one. Fantastic. Alright, let's manually drive this. That acceleration though. The West dude, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Been a minute. Um, do I not have... Oh, that's a regular pylon. As opposed to a lighted pylon. Hold up, are these all prodded? Yes. Yes, they are. And where do we put a beacon? I hadn't actually thought about that. Um, I could cover almost all of it if I remove this one drill. I think that's probably fine, actually, as long as we reconnect these wires. Because we've got, like, five drills covering this spot as well. Uh, beacon, efficiency, speed, power is plus 10%. Nope. How about negative 80%? We're, we're basically just paying for the beacon. And that should all be set up properly, except for the belts. Down we go. I guess that's unnecessary, but it's fine. And on this side, it's kind of awkward to squeeze it in on that side. Let's do it like this. Actually, how fast is this? Uh, not that fast, actually. That'll be fine. And over here... Find your way over this way. Seems good. So that'll be 1.6 million times, I don't know what, 
What's our prod bonus? Plus 90%. Uh, I think that includes... Yeah, plus 50% base without the pro uh, productivity modules. So really we're looking at like... Uh, 2.8 mil or something? Probably. Seems good. Um, let's head back. Trains should have a path here already. Alright, away we go. Also, hi. Uh, AK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this here? Alright, blame Veldek. Veldek is here, blame Wes. I see how it is. Alright, I'll just double check that trains have a path over there. They do. Fantastic. There's also a stone mine down here. Uh, it's just a bit slow. Uh, maybe I should have gone and given it a beacon while we were driving past it. Uh, in fact, I want to speed that one up because I think I've seen it work before somewhere, but this is the one I marked to test our little conditional provide threshold. Uh, so I'd definitely like to see that working. All this snow is annoyingly bright. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I'm paving the planet. Why we've got a train specifically for that purpose. Uh, it is a big job, though. But yeah, I actually had uh, uh, my light bulb was dying a while ago uh, in my room, and it's very, very. It's a lot worse when your light source behind you is not that strong. The ultimate lazy miner, indeed. Someone is doing mining setup, deploy the compound miner. Is that what I think it is? Why? Maybe I need to set this a lot higher than 15 seconds of inactivity. Because when there's all of these floor tiles to build, the bots tend to have random gaps in being given orders that are a lot longer. Okay. Paving the world continues. Let's go visit our little stone mine over here. Uh, wait for passenger present. And... After at least a minute, I guess. We're actually getting there super fast, so I don't think I'll go look somewhere else. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where is this going? Did I totally forget to build this stone mine up here? Apparently, I planned it out. Let's go do that after this one. Since I'm only here to, like, place a beacon. Um, here is probably fine. And... Uh, one more. Efficiency. There we go. It's going to be a little bit faster. Uh, and then I would like to park up here. The train should be unable to leave automatically until we... because it'll be facing the wrong way for the sake of signals. I'm pretty sure. Nope, nope, nope. Halt. Never mind. It's 
so quick. It's actually jarring how quickly it accelerates if I'm not careful. But now, for some reason, even though I'm in a cargo wagon up the front, it's reversed my control direction. Whoops. gonna stop. How's our concrete train doing? It's getting there, I guess. I'd like to get a feel for how many seconds sometimes pass. That's quite a lot. Is it actually finished? Uh, it's got concrete in here, but no, no bots in this one, somehow. I am more than a little annoyed and confused. Uh, I went over this at the start of the stream, but basically we empty the train, and then on a timer we start putting stuff into the train in sync. But it doesn't seem to be putting it, it's not putting the same number of bots in each cargo wagon even when we make sure that each of these chests has the 50 bots and they all swing at the same time and i don't get it because especially because i've made this work in other places before maybe if i just hmm. The only thing I can think of that's different is with the bots, I gave it like a fast inserter and stack size 2. And I have a dedicated inserter for the bots in particular. But it shouldn't be that much of an issue, basically. Uh, let's throw down a beacon. We can't quite cover both sides with that. But do we even need to? These two are just to get the little bit on the edge that these ones can't reach. So I don't necessarily think that's a problem. Uh, what is a problem is that we don't have power. Down we go. So I'm paying attention to where the rail went. Alright. There's our power. What's our rate like right now? Only 19 per second. Yeah, it's actually minus 40% speed if we want maximum prod, but also minimum power consumption. Uh, maybe considering this costs 10 megawatt, we should just have it go a bit faster. How do magnets work? Uh, miracles? Obviously. What are we not able to build here? Oh, it's the bots. They don't have room to get back in the train. Alright. Electricity? Yeah, I mean, electromagnetic force is... One and the same and inseparable, right? Okay, are those bots back yet? I think they are, actually. Let's... I think I will speed this up a little bit more, though. 
plus 10% uh, power consumption. It's still only minus 20% speed, though. That's normal speed for double power consumption. And that's like a megawatt each. Okay, no. I don't like it. Just make more mines. And... Uh, the mines will last longer that way as well. But didn't promise any answers? His bot said to ask how things... Ah, okay. What about this stone mine? I could add beacon to it. Let's do that. It's quite a short trip. I really need to secure... Like a stone or fragment planet, or just a lot more planets to give me core fragments. Um, actually, now that I think of it, I still haven't fixed it so that we're getting rid of uh, crinite powder when we're full. That comes from crinite core fragments. So we're not getting the trickle of stone out of that that we ought to be getting. Um... I still haven't updated the uh, the build that deals with storage and eventual destruction if it doesn't get used of these things. Oh, I should go make the crinite powder disappear first, I guess, and then maybe... And then maybe update. I can't quite fit that. There we go. No, I'm out of beacons. Ah, oh, man. I just needed one more. Just one more beacon. Is that so much to ask? Can I move that down a tile? Yeah, I can. Probably more than that, actually. No mineable resources. These guys do have mineable resources. Um, that's probably fine. Some of these wires aren't connected, though. And there we go. Close enough, I guess. Not really. Well, it'll help with our stone for a while, anyway. Let's go get some more beacons. Out of bacon called a cavalry. Indeed. Let's go... Oh, there's a train trying to come here as well. Let's go back to the mall. Make sure this guy has a path. They do. I never did update those station names, but I think we fixed the issue with that. Okay, how quickly does it actually load 50 stacks, though? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty quick. That's... that's not bad. Alright, I need to grab from the mall one little item uh, for our semi-automatic construction of wide area beacons, just because I've been lazy and haven't yet done a multi-purpose train for sending just a few items between the space elevator, as opposed to a train load of stuff all at once. Is 
This will be quite a few wide area beacons though. Energy control unit. LDS, electronic components, lithium sulfur battery, and imosite crystal. Uh, but also you can prod module it. So I don't really want to produce it up here. How did they end up... Oh, I see. Wait, no I don't. How did they end up in that ship? Oh, from up here. I forgot that connection was there. Cool. We're actually full on wide area beacons here. I'll take two stacks. Fantastic. That'll last a while. And... I don't think I have any other reason to be here. I could take some more lighted pylons, I guess. Me as well. Give me all of those. And back downstairs we go. Sort out some more stone, and then probably fix imasite, and then, I don't know what, maybe a new outpost? What, are, what outposts, like what new resources are there? We've already got barrel, albeit slowly, but slow is fine for now. We've got iridite, we've got holmanite, uh, we've got copper. I don't have rare metals infinitely, unless you count getting it from other core fragments, which is actually... At this point, it's probably about all we need. Vitamelange I haven't touched, but I haven't even started on bioscience yet. So it's basically just rare metals, mineral water we really don't have that much of a need for yet, and there's a lot of it on Hagen. Um, iron, there's also a lot of Unhagen, and our only iron core fragment planets are really, really, really small. How did we end up doing this? Where... Were you not building science? Um, I was, and then a squirrel jumped in front of me, and then another one, so on. Some of those squirrels, though, are keeping our whole base from moving, so I kind of need to fix that. Mostly the problem is stone. Uh, speaking of which, I don't believe there's a recycling facility recipe to get rid of... Um, ...cryonite powder. Um, can I make a crusher? I guess. Why don't I just use this one? And... Uh... So that would normally be... Yeah, this whole thing would normally be landfill, but we can't turn uh, cryonite powder into landfill. So I'll just do it like this. And then, how much is in here? How is it not quite full? 15, 30k. I guess we're only asking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 32k. I thought I set it up so that this would actually be full before we scrap some of it. I guess not. Let's just make this greater than 15k. 
I need to redesign this anyway. I just want something functional for now. To keep the Cryonite core fragments getting processed. So that we get some stone, some regular core fragments out of it. Really, there's no core fragments that are more free than the cryonite ones. Uh, I should probably ramp up the ability to keep those flowing. It's probably my best solution short to mid turn for stone. It'd be very nice if there was a stone core fragment planet. There's actually a lot of stone on Achilles, but it's huge and full of biters. Um, I'm sure there's some other planets that we're already on that have a lot of stone. It'd be nice if Muir had lots of stone. Uh, Muir has barely any stone, however. How about using two crushers instead of one? Um, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, the reason why I have all these recycling facilities around the crushers is uh, most of these things we can turn into landfill. Iron, copper, raw imicite, raw rare metals, beryl, holmanite, iridite, not vulcanite or cryonite, and scrap can be turned into landfill, though I'd never do that. Um, so because the... Uh, because the crushes are just so slow, um, I was turning... Oh, let's speed it up. Where are my speed modules? Um, where are my regular speed modules? I know there's got to be some here. There we go. That's a lot. So how fast is this killing... Only 0.5 cryonite powder per second. Jeez. We'd need 100 seconds to go through one stack. If we give it speed 3s, we're looking at 1.3 per second. I think this is actually worth beaconing, as weird as it sounds. Um, so we're paying like... More than... Like 16 megawatt at the moment to crush 5.6 cryonite powder per second. Uh, maybe we could use these two as well. Feels a bit weird that this would be necessary, but what are you going to do? This one's actually already got a path to it. Alright, so that is uh, 8.4 cryonic powder per second we're able to crush if... if we're full on it. But this doesn't really follow the same rules. So cryonite powder... Okay, how are we empty here on cryonite powder? Oh, because I turned it off. Why did I do that? Was I going to replace this? Um... Do I have... A new cryonite rod build that I didn't... D 
doesn't look like it. I probably looked at it and said I want to beacon this, but I can't. So let's do a new build. Well, that's a whole other reason we haven't been getting stone. Let's do it right now. No delay. Get rid of the old power poles. Put in the new power poles. Uh, I might need some help from construction train. Let's shove this stuff over here for now. Don't actually want the construction train taking this crinite crystal and stuff that has no business being anywhere else. Yeah, look at that. This wagon has zero construction bots. Bruh. Why are you like this? Wait for inactivity. Oh wait, I just realized it's going to pick up this stuff. Uh, unless I do it first. Fantastic. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, I, I guess I'll just manually pick this up for now. Instead of involving the bots. It seems like they need a little rest anyway. Uh, so we're definitely going to need the heavy oil. Let me just pick up my bots so I can jump into the editor. Oh, they're on the ground now. In you go. Okay. Editor. Let's delete this. And replace it with Crynite. This is why writing down what starts the rabbit hole helps. <laughs> Actually writing it down not going, oh, I'll remember that, indeed. Alright, uh, let's start with our old Crynite build. Because I definitely won't be messing with the inputs stations uh, very much. So we need... Water, heavy oil, and crinite powder. Um, and we want the crinite crystal. Can only be made in. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, chemical plant, advanced chemical plant. Do we have the advanced chemical plant yet? I don't think we do. Uh, it requires bio 2. That's not happening for a minute. Alright, so we're still going to use chemical plants here. Um, we're going to want... I'll, I'll keep the right side the same for reference. And I might want to keep the inputs the same? Can I get a beacon to touch all of this? I cannot. Do I need to? Probably not. Yeah, we could maybe put a beacon there. Um... And here we just need powder... We need the two blue things and heavy oil. And we probably won't need this many furnaces. Let's prod it up and give the beacon some modules and compare our throughput from before. Uh, 
That's a lot of modules. Oh, that's a wide two. Give me a wide one. Okay. Power consumption... Plus... Wait, what? Oh, do we not have enough power? Oh, I see how it is. Alright, so... Power consumption... Negative 80%. I think we can go to 5. Negative 60. That's not too bad. And this one's plus 100, though. Not a fan of that. How about... Plus 10, maybe? We'll see. Anyway, what's our ratio like? Here we have an exact ratio for crinite crystal, 8 per second. We get 4 crinite rods per second. Uh, this would only give us 2.68. We are very positive on crinite crystals, however. For some reason. Funny how that works. I guess because the furnaces have more room for prods. Have chat write it with seven people at the same time, indeed. Um, do I desperately want to fit everything on one side on one beacon? I could do a pair of them on each side. Okay, question is, how many furnaces can we realistically fit? Two solids, one fluid in, one solid out. Uh, maybe, maybe I should swap the input output for the physical items here and have like... Something closer to this. Two solids, one fluid in. Uh, I could move this over to the left a bit. Oh, or even just leave that where it is and move these over. How fast are they individually? Really, really, really slow. I don't think we have to worry about that at all. So we can just have one inserter like we did before. Um, maybe we should see just how many furnaces we can fit and work backward from that. Maybe like this. Yeah, maybe I should just uh, scrap this whole thing. That much at least won't change the shape of it anyway. How about I start with one beacon in the middle and I'll see if I change my mind. One more down here. Alright, what's our target? 7.16 uh, rods per second, 10 crinite powder per second. That's not, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. Or maybe I should separate these into separate blocks. That might make a lot more sense. Uh, it depends how much it takes to support. 
caught this. Um, so it's really just the crystals, right? 10.24 crinite crystals per second under the beacon. We'd be looking at 21 machines. Maybe like this. How many is that? 20? I think we can probably do it. Probably. We need a fluid in and a fluid out. How many is this? Five. Why don't we do four by three? Uh, that'd be 24 like that. And then we could have a consistent pattern. Um, and it's just one solid in, one solid out as well. So I don't, I don't foresee the shape of this changing. This basic pattern here. Uh, we need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And maybe... Like that. There's not quite room to do it that way. Yes, there is. Fits pretty well, actually. Um, but lining it up with these inputs might be a little bit annoying. But shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, I think I said we needed 21. 10.24 per second. Wait, what? 10... Oh, it's the crystals. Yeah, we need 21. Uh, I could get rid of a couple of these. I'd rather it be symmetrical anyway. I'm leaning towards not having these right next to each other, like in the same block. Yeah, I'm leaning more and more strongly towards that. And then we don't have to try so hard to ratio it so well. Um, which means we're going to have to get rid of this and redo this whole thing. Let me just all of this into storage. Why have I not placed these? There we go. Because I turned off my bots, that's why. Okay. Uh, I guess if we've already got the heavy oil here, this should be a block for making crinite crystals, though. Especially because it's nice and close to crinite core fragment processing. So let's make another block for that. And put 
this in the usual spot. Give or take. Well, actually, I should probably move this over here. And keep these inputs as they were. And just reshape this whole thing a bit. To fit around a beacon. Let's get chemical plants. The fact that they have different numbers of prod modules as well. Uh, where's the recipe I'm looking for? Here it is. Means I wouldn't be happy with the beacon settings. Okay, why don't I grab the old blueprint? Paste it back in. Get rid of the furnaces. Um, put prods in these. I guess module inserter would have been easier. And grab our beacon. Put it around about here. Reshape this a little bit. Sicknia, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, project the premise that the output has to be shaped like this. Get rid of all the old power poles. And... Maybe... I don't like it's an odd number up here. What was the old rate here? 8 per second. So if we get 16, we can just do it all in a half block. Or to keep up with what we had. I kind of want some... Symmetry around the beacon, though? Yeah, that looks... That looks like I'm gonna like where this is going. And we can fit another one of these up here. And have everything in pairs. Okay. One, two, three... And like this. Um, we'll have input on the same side as the fluids. And same for output. That's more inserters than we need, isn't it? Uh, no, it's actually not. We just squeeze in as many as we can. Although, I kind of want to shunt all of this up by one. I prefer to have, have the inserters in pairs, it just makes it easier to count. That's not quite right. Much better. All right. 
One solid, one fluid in, one solid, one fluid out. Um, I think that would be the cleanest way to do it. And then I can't exactly copy paste flip this, but I don't really need to. I could also put it closer to the beacon, but there's no need. Although, it does kind of give us a little cozy spot for the beacon. Alright, and that happens to line up which is more than we can see for this side. Let's get rid of all that for now. Alright, now how much steam do we need? 120 per second. That is just barely a bit too much. Or one of these. So we'll do one on each side. The way it lines up isn't all that pretty though. We can't put modules in this or anything. I'll just double check there's no other way. Not stream, steam. Uh, I don't think there's another way to just get arbitrary temperature steam, like another machine or something. Doesn't look like it. Not unless we wanted to use a boiler or something. I mean, this is an electric boiler. Rotate them for prettiness? Uh, how so? The output will have to come down this way. Unless I flip all the chemical plants around, in which case that wouldn't really help if this was coming down here. The boilers? Well, I need their input to be on this side and output down this way. Don't you need four? Uh, I need two. I need 120 steam per sec. Let me just double check. If this has more speed, negative 60% power, I can live with that. Uh, but yeah, we need 140 steam per second. And this does 105. It doesn't work under the beacon, does it? I don't think. No, it doesn't. Just two, yep. Thought you rate calc only half of the things requiring. Oh. Uh, and it is just steam. It doesn't specify a temperature. So we'll just go for 100 degrees. All right. I guess it'd look a bit more symmetrical like this. I could always move the beacon further in a little bit, but it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Arbitrary steam, indeed. Like installing the orange box. Uh, let's see. I think we're fine. What's our rate? This whole thing only gives us 28... Uh... 28.128 granite crystals per second. That doesn't sound like that much. 
Especially considering it's a bit over half a stack. Uh, we're not going to need oil, heavy oil delivered here. Zeno Bizkit, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, let's get rid of this old stuff. Um, if we're only delivering one fluid, then we don't need any special circuitry on the pumps. Using two belts of crushed cryo. Two belts of crushed cryo. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, that's kind of fast, probably. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's fine, I guess. Well, in that case, I'll put another efficiency in here for minimum power consumption. 80 per second. You can recycle the water output as well. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Um, it's actually net positive water, which... Which I'm surprised at. Um, oh, it's not including consuming to make the steam. Okay, so each of these outputs... 2.4 steam for every 1.6 water it takes in. Huh? Uh, no, it gives back water. Okay, it, it takes in 2.4 steam. It, it consumes 2.4 steam and it gives back 1.6 water. So we're net negative on water, so we don't have to worry about, like, uh, ditching the extra. Okay. Um, that looks pretty decent, honestly. So, overall rate of water should be pretty slow still. Um, net consumes 40 per second. And this will obviously convert one to one. So then, where do I want to put... Maybe just like this. That doesn't line up the way I hoped. Just have to worry about clogging the water. Uh, we'll have a huge storage tank for it. That won't be much of a problem. Although, all right, let me build this on this other side real quick, because I want to test the idea that flipping this around might look better. Uh, why don't I just copy all of this, and then... Cut. Oop, I can't flip it. Rotate these ones. Uh, wait, what? Much confusion. Cut, flip, paste. And cut, flip, paste, kind of. And chem plants, like so. That brings our water together in the middle. Um, and I can't actually flip that because chemical plants. There we go. Okay, 
So water to the middle. Um, so that would have water lining up here and here. That seems pretty convenient. And then only two outputs down the bottom. I think that's going to look better. Let's get rid of this. And then move this around so it lines up just right, perhaps. Well, that's not quite going to happen. If I move it in a tile... Oh, hold on. Well, that's kind of decent. And... Steam... Where's my electric boilers? There we go. I guess we could do, do steam kind of like this. I don't love that. Especially because it won't look like that on this side. Uh, how about... What about like this? That might be a bit better. I hate when it tells you that you can't flip things that are symmetrical. Okay, that looks rather imbalanced. How about like this? That looks a bit better, I think. I could even move it in one more. Or two more if I want to. But that is as close to symmetry as it's going to get. That doesn't look too bad, actually. 115 steam per second. We barely need more than one of these. Uh, we also need the steam to find its way over here. I don't think this looks too bad. Alternatively, we could do it down the bottom. No, I think that looks fine. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, so we need cryonite powder and water at our drop-off and nothing else. Oops. And water? I don't think this is going to be doing anything. Um, and how much cryonet powder do we need? Uh, 76.8 per second. Two belts in other words. That one lines up very well. That one almost does the exact same thing. Just like what we... Oh, that's not the input anymore. <laughs> Never mind. Oh no. Oh no, the symmetry. It's all falling apart. Water not at 100%. Oh, tree. Otherwise it'll get blocked. Uh, how much does one column need? Less than half a belt. The whole thing's like 80, right? So I think, actually, 
Um, we'll do the old delivery cannon chest. For a convenient merger splitter. That's slightly annoying. Um, and down here as well. That's as close as we're going to get to symmetry. That seems fine. Uh, and then we're outputting Rhinite Crystal, right? To the rail network? Yep. Alright, cool. I think I'll just do the half block for now. Then again, we've probably got an obscene amount to catch up on. Um, we've got a bunch of granite powder just waiting to be consumed, and our stone is waiting on it. That's why we're doing this. So, why don't I just mirror this right from the start? Very, very easy operation anyway. Um, and I guess those two might as well connect. That should be fine. Also, the uh, the electric boiler is going to be quicker to consume the water that comes out of here, for the most part, than our main storage. Input our test stuff. That's looking pretty nice. Um, and I don't think we need two output stations. We are going to get slightly more than one belt out of this. That should be fine. I'll just bring this down here. Feel like a regular belt will do. And then one, two, three to go. I could merge it with a splitter or I could like bring it over here. Wait, how much is this? It's only 23.8. Um it's a shame I can't quite fit like this. Perhaps I could connect the water a different way. That seems fine, actually. And we'll do the same thing over here. get rid of the superfluous undergrounds, and then this one down here, too far. That's looking a lot tidier than anything else I might have done with the belts there. It all but gets the items to the train by magic. Alright, let's limit these to 50 stacks each. Let LTN know what's in here. Set our provide stack threshold to 100. And... 
we'll call this Bronite Crystal Provider. And update our station up here. Dear, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we don't need heavy oil here. Uh, we do need provide uh, request stack threshold 100. This should be 60k. Um, I'll set water to like 100k. And crinite powder. Um, 5,000 is one train load. But there's nowhere, there's literally nowhere else for Crinite Powder to go. Except for in here, never mind. Uh, let's just set it to a couple of train loads. So 100 times 50 times 2, 10k. And it's probably fine. On second thought, how much can fit in here? Oh, 1632k. Let's double it. I'll ask for like 20k. Since the rest of it's going to end up in storage. And this is called... Chemical plant making granite crystals. Seems good. Um, and we could, we could or could not let LTN know what's in this container. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's blueprint this thing. And snap to grid. Make sure we remove the cheat items, not that it really matters. Uh, why did it change the grid position? There we go. Fantastic. And I think I'll put this down here. There are two creative arms. Yes, there were. Shmua, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. SF Hobbit, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Uh, let's see. There's a bunch of heavy oil here. But I think I probably really would like... Uh, we can just put our new Crynite crystal processing block down here, actually. And we'll have the smelting one up here. Should be fine. Two biters snuck into the base and assassinated a core of the 224 core reactor. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, well done, biters, is all I can say. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. There was a chain reaction? Yes, there would have been. Yes, indeed. Um, that's pretty epic. Not in a way that you would want to see, but, you know, that's, uh, that's content right there. Rip UPS? Yeah. <laughs> like detonating a million TNT in Minecraft, right? Let's grab our construction train and have it pay us a visit over here. And see if we get all of this built in one go.
Zoe Diddy, Buppy Cakes. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think someone clipped it. I would be shocked if they didn't. Oopsie. Uh, yes, there it is. Sorry for the auto moderator. Oh, I can't hear the clip because I've got my browser muted. There we go. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god, what, what the fuck? I see precisely <laughs> one frame. How did this happen? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yep, that'll do it. Do we need more prods? We do need more prods. Uh, I've got some more prods right here, actually. And I can shift C my existing Bryanite crystals back into place. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we do have all of this connected, so the train's arriving. Shouldn't cause LTN any problems. They are arriving rather rapidly. Brunel mass ejection headed for Granis. Uh, oh, that's the Vulcanite planet. We've had We've been prepared for this for a while. I think. Uh, but yeah, umbrella power consumption is spiking rather violently. We haven't actually consumed any steam yet. But we haven't reached that scale. Actually, we're almost halfway through it, and I don't see the steam turbines doing any work. Uh, are our accumulators getting drained? Where are our accumulators? Accumulators aren't even upset yet. How? How is this... That has to be the weakest, uh, 0 0.9 gigawatt peak power. Yeah, that was not a whole lot to write home about. Oh well. Um, there is no overkill, there is only open fire and I need to reload. Had to reload from that one? No, no, you have to... You have to go with it. Actually, I imagine it would have taken, like, what, an hour for the UPS to settle down if you didn't load it. Um, is this already working? Yeah, it is. Fantastic. Beautiful. Alright, so now we just need to going to be full in no time. Uh, we need to do our new smelting block for Crynite Rods, and I think it's just going to look like this, honestly. Um, let's copy-paste what we have here, just to make sure we'll be working from the same stuff, except this can all go. Make sure we don't accidentally put that back on. Uh, also, before I forget, let me just mark this as Crynite Crystals. Fantastic. I also want some concrete over here. Let's get our concrete train to come and do its thing. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to copy-paste this over here, except for that old mess. Um, we'll see how many we need, bonus-wise. Well, our cryonite 
crystal build is capable of 47.6 per second. How many of these would we need? Oh, we'd need to fill the block. To use up most of that. Fine by me, I guess. Uh, the only question is, how do I want to do the pipes? And the belts and stuff. Would have taken several hours to rebuild that reactor with the base on zero power with a shitload of disconnecting power lines and praying the perimeter held. Yeah, fun. Of the Dwarf Fortress variety. Um... Where are these pipes going to line up conveniently? Well, not in any particular pattern. So it's two solids, one fluid in, one solid out. Um, it, it's quite slow though, right? 10.2 and 10.2 in. Yeah, it is. Why don't we do input like this? And then inserters. And pipes. Um, if I do the pairs of inserters, I can't do a consistent pattern. I think I prefer this though. I mean, it is consistent, it's just not consistent on the scale of one machine. Uh, and then the same thing over here. And... Heavy oil, like so. I'm pretty sure heavy oil is super slow for this build. Let's just double check. It's only 10.24 per second, uh, even with all of this. And that's with extra power consumption. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right. Uh, so we need to go with our outputs like this. Let's do Crynite Crystal in the middle, because I feel like it. And Crynite Powder on the outside. And over here, same deal. I've tried to make a neater merger using the corner, but it doesn't really work out. Actually, now that I think of it, with how slow this is, we should probably go for... Nope, never mind, because we've got the two physical inputs. Hashtag content, indeed. Alright, uh, so individually these are very, very slow, 0.33 per second, which means a very simple output belt. In fact, a yellow inserter would do here. Uh, and we'll use that one trick to make the output a bit tidier. So we don't have to do a whole lot of merging and messing around. Am 
might make a good holiday stream. Can we recover from disaster? Indeed. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think I will do this layout again, just because it's lining up perfectly. And we will limit the front to one cargo wagon. And set a provide stack threshold that is considerably higher than one train load. And just not bother trying to automate this part. Alright, so here we are requesting uh, powder, granite crystal, heavy oil, and we're smelting granite rods. Fantastic. I don't suppose... I'll just double check. The advanced furnaces... Uh, I'm guessing are not going to have any more rod modules. Nope. Cool, cool, cool. And we might want to do the same thing on the opposite side. Could I just mirror this? Like so. Except... Probably want to swap this around. And I just realized... Well, how fast is this thing in total? It is considerably less. It's less than half a blue belt. I'm tempted to just merge this over here, but then this doesn't merge properly. Uh, I'll... Actually, if it's if it's that slow, uh, let's do it this way after all. Delivery can just just because it's three by three. Limit both of these to one cargo wagon and push everything straight into the delivery cannon chest, which the bulk rail loaders will automatically take from. Uh, and then we can set our provide stack threshold to exactly one train, and we can allow short trains, and we don't need any smart or messy stuff to make short and long trains work for this. Alright, let's test it. Also, I need to do the requests here. No water, heavy oil should be like 100k. Uh, and finite crystal and powder has the same stack size. Uh, we're not doing 24k. We've got room for... Well, each cargo wagon has room for 320 stacks. That's like six train loads. Um, I'll just do a couple of train loads of each. Shouldn't be a problem. So 50 times... 50 times 2 times 2, 10k, sounds about right. Five K per cargo wagon. Uh cryonite crystals as well. Ten K. And I think I already named the station correctly. Let LTN know what we've got. Uh and let's put in some test items. And heavy oil, also. Why 
Why are we not getting powder on both sides? That... What the... Okay. There we go. Seems good. That is certainly one way to lose in Factorio. <laughs> Connect unloaders to LTN right side. Connect unloaders to LTN right side. Oh, these ones? Yep, yep, yep. And switch these on. Um, I'm not seeing heavy oil. Here we go. On this side. And this doesn't actually go anywhere. That looks pretty tidy. Cool. Let's double check our station names and settings and wire connections. Ionite rod, provider, short or long trains, provide stack threshold 100, looks pretty good to me, and we can fit 140 stacks in this storage over here, right then, blueprint, Granite rod. Snap to grid. Get rid of the cheat items. 86.25.1. And I believe that is complete. Double check the snap to. We can rotate it. Fantastic. Alright, time to build this thing. And I'll just double check, but... Oh, well. Yep, that is looking saturated, all right. How did you place so little concrete before going back home? How dare you. Let's go bring our... our train over here, I guess. Probably because I set the inactivity too low, and because there's lots of uh, lots of bot jobs here with the concrete tiles, they probably waited a long time before getting given orders. Oh, away they go now. Um, so I probably want to kill some of these pipes in the right order, push all of that heavy oil back where it belongs. Uh, make sure these wires are connected. Get rid of the settings on those pumps, they're not needed. And get rid of whatever this is. Um, and we should be good to force paste our blueprint. So we'll have to fix up a couple of little things. We don't need this station. It's not a thing anymore. This one looks correct. Oh boy. Uh, 
this looks good as well. Let's get our construction train to visit. And that should probably be all it takes to build the entire thing. Unless we're not carrying that many furnaces. I also need some more prod modules. More than likely. Yeah, we need some more furnaces. Let's go grab some. Or actually, I could just schedule it so the construction train will come back here. After it reloads. And is there anything else I need to... Reconnect over here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, cool. Concrete's already gone. I should probably have it load up more concrete. Um, because it keeps needing to contribute concrete to other builds. because I planned out a few ahead of time. Um, but yeah, that basically looks like it's working. Oh. Um, how about this? Shift C to the rescue. There we go. It's probably too many rods in here, actually. Why don't we just temporarily persuade these to go over here? That might not be enough. Uh, why don't I do what I just did, actually? Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Now there's crinite rods where there's not supposed to be crinite rods. Um, mistakes were made. Do we have any construction trains in range? We do have a concrete train on its way home. Construction train actually slipped in and finished the build while I wasn't looking. So now it looks like it looks like I'm the only one who has construction bot range to pick this stuff up. Fantastic. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh but yeah, that is a little bit of a mess that I probably should have seen coming. Construction trains ready to go again. All right, let me just go grab the crinite rods from off of this belt that absolutely should not be there. Kind of lucky that we're short on enriched rare metals. That doesn't sound lucky. Don't know why there was crinite rods in here. But there were. Um, so what's the deal with rare metals? We're just out of raw rare metals? I guess our crinite... Um, core fragments haven't really been moving for a while, because I haven't been deleting the access. Uh, but we've got a few trains that are looking a bit stuck, actually. That 
was the old settings. On the lazy mine. Well, that'll help, but these mines are basically empty anyway. But then maybe there's some more rare metals that have been... that we've got available. Uh, that the trains haven't been going for because they've all been queued up to go over there. Yeah, here's uh, quite a bit of rare metal, actually. Just, just a tad. My bots are still crying. Maybe I should switch over to power armor. Just because I've got a lot more power over here. And we'll use... We'll use this to get the bots moving. That's a big item explosion, indeed. RV Puck, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Clean up on aisle four, yes indeed. It's just a, it's just a small spill, no less than a million. Um, so it seems like... Oh. Hmm. Seems like we've got a lot of crinite powder going in circles, which I'm not surprised by. Where are you taking that? Okay. So our drop-off for crinite powder at storage is negative priority. Our pickup for crinite powder from the storage uh, is very high. well, is above normal priority. I'm considering making an exception for that, for Crinite Powder. If we simply have normal priority drop-off where we actually use the Crinite Powder, below normal priority for the storage, and normal priority for pickup of the Crinite Powder, or it even below normal priority, perhaps? No, okay. I was going to say below normal priority would imply if it was iron ore or something that we'd be less likely to use this than the finite resources. Um, but the crinite powder... Yeah, in this case... Uh, in this case, we would definitely want a high priority pickup. Because we don't want to waste the iron ore that came from a finite source if there's demand for it. We want to use the iron ore that came from ore mining first. But with crinite powder, um, it's only coming from core fragment processing. So there's no, like, I'm not actually bothering at all with mining the cryonite directly. So there's no need to try to ensure that we use this before any other cryonite powder. Uh, on the other hand, if I had designed this so that all the stations aren't sharing information. 
I could have a provide threshold that's based on this and not this. That's why it was taking that train time to get loaded. It's probably not that big of a deal, actually. I do want to redesign the storage area. Uh, but it might be a lengthy process. I might even base it on... Oh yeah, that's going a lot faster. Um, I might even base it on the blocks that I made for dropping things from vanilla trains into LTN or vice versa. Because the storage density there isn't bad. The only thing is we'd have to squeeze in some crushes as well in case the storage of infinite resources gets completely full. Or full enough that we can't drop another train load there, I think should be the threshold. Probably. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. As for fluids, do we really need the... Oh wow, Pyroflux is full. Damn. Uh, that's good, I guess. I mean, not I guess, that's excellent. The Pyroflux that comes from core mining is actually completely full. And yet... Vulcanite blocks, which were saturated earlier today, and... are not? What? Is Vulcanite broken? Oh. Um... possibly? Vulcanite might be broken, guys. 8.5 hours ago. Um, where's our Vulcanite core fragments? Oh no. We don't have cargo rocket sections over here. Has the problem gone away when trains arrived before a station was full? Uh, yes. Yes, it has. Zura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I just came back and three st stream was 360p. I was wondering what floor had that color. Then the stream loaded 1080. I've had streams drop the quality on me when I, like, switch to another tab um, for more than a little while before. Uh, do we have any more of this crinite on the ground? Yeah, we do. I'm out of fuel? Wait, what? No, I don't have a jetpack with this power armor, that's why. Okay. Don't scare me like that. Uh, but yeah, why are we not sending... Grannis I.O. This one's Grannis, right? There's no space capsules. Where... Okay, we've got 48 space capsules here. And a scary number in the mall. We've literally got hundreds of space capsules in the mall. Um... So why are we not getting space capsules over here? Oh, that's why. It's from when I updated all of my... Um... Request stack thresholds and stuff. We're not requesting enough space capsules to warrant sending space capsules. So, is it going to trigger a delivery now? 
Request stack threshold 50, requesting 50 stacks. Um, that's definitely 50 stacks. Um, fluid threshold should be higher. Oh, here they come. The light just didn't go yellow. Fantastic. I'm surprised that earlier this stream I looked at Vulcanite uh, blocks and they were literally saturated. And 8.5 hours ago we stopped receiving Vulcanite core fragments. Or producing them anyway. It's a good feature, it's about tab visibility when on auto resolution the player switches to lower resolution to save bandwidth. Yeah, no I, I'm definitely not complaining about that. Alright, well, that'll give us our Vulcanite back. I'm shocked that we've still got completely saturated Pyroflux. Um, considering how long ago... I, I guess Pyroflux does get consumed at kind of a slow rate. Like, this copper block, for instance, can only consume 12.8 per second at max speed. Yeah, that's kind of slow. So I guess it's not that surprising. Oh, um, and I didn't mean to keep this here. Also, you should be limited to 50 stacks each. There you go. I didn't realize so many trains came here looking for the Rhinite. Um that I spilled. Whoops. Name in base? Uh, sure. Where do you want it? Base of the space elevator? Up in space near the space elevator? Uh, the old spot, perhaps? Everyone wants the space elevator. Understandable, to be honest. I should probably get, uh, what is it called? The light version of this, um, uh, reinforced plate might go well, or maybe the black reinforced plate on the floor here. Space elevator sounds good. Okie dokie. Here we go. Uh, where can I fit you? Oops. Where would be the best spot? Maybe here, even? I'll probably shuffle these around if I end up putting the, the nice floor here. There we go. Oh. We are still in a train. Where's it going? I... I want to get out, but frankly, I'm scared. These trains are so fast. When they turn a corner, um, I'm worried that I'm going to take one step and just instantly die. Let's get our concrete train back here. Honestly, with the concrete train, I'm thinking it would probably work better if I just never had it unload the bots. And we'll just manually put the bots in. So, on the red wire... Construction bot. So we're never going to take those out. And then, don't bother putting them in. Wait, what? Oh. What? I'm so confused, what just happened? Is 
construction bot. Oh, the blacklist for construction bot is gone when they're in... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. One stack of bots in each wagon should be more than enough. Where are all the extra bots? There we go. Normally I wouldn't do it this way, but I don't know what the hell is going on with this attempt at synchronized loading not working. We do have close to the same amount of concrete in each of these, and we've got a similar spread with the bots when we were putting them in, but with the lower numbers it's far more severe. Alright, is this where we had our lack of concrete? Let's go park over somewhere out of the way if we can. Over here, perhaps? Name in base, Tiny Goliath. Sure thing. Okay. Tiny Goliath. And... Yes, this is a good fit. Fantastic. There goes our concrete. Uh, there goes our rare metal again. Very good. There goes our cryonite. I'd love to get that concrete fixed. Alright, cool. And more importantly, we are continuously processing cryonite core fragments, which means we're getting stone and regular core fragments, and everything that comes out of regular core fragments. Um, I did think through whether or not I wanted to bother with productivity modules in the pulverizers for finite core fragments, and I think at this point the answer is no. Uh, if I put in a lot more core mining drills to the point where we're rubbing up against diminishing returns, uh, then it's probably worth product uh, productivity bonusing the um, pulverizers here, but as it is right now, like we don't have that many drills, um, we're totally saturated, uh, saturated in cryonite core fragments. Maybe when we scale it up, we'll probably redesign this a little bit as well. Prod mods everywhere? But it's like putting in prod modules for water for this one. They're the, they're the core fragments from the planet that we're on and we're not scaling it up yet. They're basically free. I mean, we'll get there eventually. Alright, remember that thing we were working on hours ago? Whoops, wrong... wrong thing. Uh... Do I need to bring the construction train back here? We need some speed modules. Um, do I want to bring, do I want to automate bringing speed freeze up here at scale? Probably not, because we're just going to move on to another uh, type of module sooner or later. Also, now that I think of it, I could just automate it. Well, no, that's a bit of a pain. No, we do have speed 1s up in space already. So we don't have to worry about the solid fuel. 
Uh, what does it take to make speed twos and threes? Circuit, circuit. Okay, we're not losing out on, like, productivity bonuses or anything, but it's definitely less stack efficient to make our modules upstairs. I also have to move more Imosite crystal. I think for now I'll just ferry some up myself. Because I don't want to have to keep changing um, the build that delivers these things. Data Gnome, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Feeling any better? Yes. Yes, I am. Not great yet, but getting there. Infamous, good to see you again also. The right half of your Crynite rod build doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to be stuck? That's good. Let me just drop these off real quick and we'll have a look. Um, does our train carry these? It does not. And I've kind of filled it up quite a lot. Um, that was a little bit of a whoops. Uh, where's our... Where did our speed modules just run off to? Nowhere that I can... Sp oh, here we go. Okay, that's five. Shift C did not show me where the rest of them went. Um, speed module three. Thank you. Okay, I don't think we need this many, but I just want to make sure we finish that build. Down we go. Oh, let's check on Vulcanite. Four fragments. They are moving. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Uh, I forgot to bring efficiency modules. Rip. Rip in pepperonis. Um, I think we're basically ready here, though. To move on to the next prerequisite. Alright, down we go. Uh, so the problem was finite rod build on the right side. Oh! Yeah, that would help. That would help. I thought I blueprinted that. Oh, now it's moving. It's already full, though. Oh, no, it's not. Looks like we are bottlenecking on the Crynite powder now. Which means our build here is fast enough. I'm okay with that. Uh, which means we should be picking... We're like two items short to come and pick this up. It's fine, I suppose. Alright, let me grab some... Uh, okay. You done? No? There's just more and more concrete up here. Okay. Let's grab our concrete train. Come over here for a bit. Wait for inactivity. Uh, and then I was looking for efficiency modules. I'm pretty sure I've got a lot of modules um, lying around in here. 
Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Don't really need any more speed right now. Give me the prod trees while we're at it. This again? I thought we fixed this. Oh, is this the build where we... Was this the reason that we changed that one setting? I think we found it. So we're trying to set requests based on what the train is asking for and not not get a signal based on what's already in the train. Settings, mod settings, uh, LTN, providers output existing cargo. But I don't think it's going to change that until this train comes back. Yeah, I think the purpose of that was so that this build would get rid of stuff that's not supposed to be in that train. Do we have another train coming here? Yes, yes, yes. Can we... Put something in there that's not supposed to be. Yeah, there it is. That's why we had that mod setting. And so far I've only had one use case where I potentially wanted it turned back on, but I didn't actually use it that way here. Okay then. Uh, let me go finish that build before I forget. Not that it matters right now, but it'll bug me eventually. And I think I should probably make some more mines for Immersite as well. Down we go. Cool. That's all that needed. Uh, what prereq are we missing here? Energy catalog 1 and 2. That's uh, not too surprising, I suppose. Alright. We'll quickly grab some more Immersite off of Gibbil. 1.4 mil seems good. I'll do laziest mine I can to make that happen. Maybe I should go over here. 2.7 mil down this. Oh, wow. 2.2 plus 2.7. Okay. That is the maximum amount for the minimum effort. Although I don't have any prod modules on this planet. That would help a little bit. Not as much as you'd think, though, because we get most of our productivity bonus um, even when we have slots, uh, five slots, we get most of our productivity bonus just from passive productivity bonus. 50% out of 90%. Where would be the easiest way, uh, place to expand this out? Maybe like this? might be good. And I'm not going to worry too much about sticking to the grid this time. We'll just do some spaghetti rail to get where we need to go. I could also set things up so that we could easily add a iridium or mining drill. In the not too distant future, let's grab our construction train.
which is looking a bit weird actually. Rico, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's head over here, wait for some inactivity. Actually, I don't want it to leave at all until they tell it to. So, passenger present. Wow, that train is slow compared to what I've gotten used to. It is just chugging along with its little coal, actually. That doesn't help. Okay. I'm going to need you to knock yourself down this way. And I just want to check if it can get home already. I think it should be able to. Yes, it can. Alright. Time for an upgrade? Yeah, but I'd have to go over there is the only thing. And our one spaceship is uh, being used indefinitely. I've got our Grand Theft spaceship being used for ferrying copper core fragments back from Muir. Uh, because the planet is rather large. Uh, so I don't particularly want to... Well, for something at scale, I don't want to use delivery cannons um, and pay... I don't want to pay a delivery cannon capsule for 20 core fragments. That's absurd. Um, and cargo rockets are kind of out because the planet is so large that we'd have to pay a ridiculous amount of liquid rocket fuel. Uh, but we have exactly one spaceship. So what I did was set up a space elevator. Um... We're powering our core mining drills off of uh, solar power at the top of the space elevator. And we're basically just using the spaceship to ferry supplies like ammo and train power packs um, and space elevator cables, which are looking a little bit... Actually, that's not that low. 1.9k. I think we started with 2.6. Oh, we're only looking for 2,000. Okay, cool. Uh, that probably means it's working. Uh, but yeah. Uh, our first outpost that uses a space elevator is already in place just because of these requirements. Uh, and it's costing us considerably more uh, parts per second, or per minute, than our space elevator on Hagen. Uh, possibly more even if you consider the number of trains going up and down. Why is it empty? Oh, it's probably... This is probably a train that brings something down. Yep, that's copper core fragments. I researched spaceships and ion engines yesterday. Right now I'm in the process of building my intergalactic trade network. Nice. Mazzle Fazzle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Almost forgot what we were doing. Let's get our train to continue heading towards this raw imasite. Uh, and once we get that done, we'll build some more space science blocks, I think. Just completed my first working spaceship prototype. Nice, nice. Very good. 
I think spaceships have to be by far the most fun milestone in space exploration. Oh, nope. Where do you think you're going? I think this was before I realized I could put... Yep. This was before I realized I could put the vehicle roboports in, because I forgot they were a thing. This train is a little sluggish to build with. Signal pass-through for clamps is such an improvement. My old designs were ten times more complicated. Uh, did they not always have the option for signal clamps to pass through the signals? I said signal clamps, but you know what I mean. Automating spaceships felt like being an actual engineer. Oh no. They didn't? Oh no. That's unfortunate. So pretty much everything you did had to be like some workaround, like how... How I do some math to calculate how many core fragments are in the ship, for example. Even though I'm setting requests. Oh, uh, where am I? Over here. They added it a few weeks after I quit my first playthrough. Oh no. Is that what they were waiting for? Let's head over here. Where are you going? Almost there, kind of. Picking up way too much stone. It wasn't so bad, really. You just had to have your logic on the ship. Yeah, I did that at first. Um, and basically decided I didn't like it. Ultimately. I, w I will have a couple of ships where I'm going to have to have the logic on the ship. But for the most part, I prefer to do it kind of like... Well, kind of like scheduling trains in LTN, if that makes sense. Have all of our bots ended up carrying stone? Oh, no. Oh, no. Now they're going to have to fly all the way back here. Alright, let's do something else for a minute. Uh, you know what? Let's design energy catalog, perhaps. Bonk? How's that my fault? Alright, uh, let's clear this out. And place our usual block. Fill it with scaffolding temporarily. I think it was 78 tiles. About that. Uh, and we're trying to figure out... Catalog. I'm just going to keep going backward to get to the... Uh, until we have all our prereqs done. So it's four in, one out, one fluid in, one fluid out. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that... Is that my spider with sunglasses? Okay, then. Um... Pardon me. Uh, should I end up using the same layout very often. Quite likely. Especially considering the multiple inputs and one output. Yeah, I think I should steal from myself here.
Okay. How's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Feeling a bit better. Good enough to stream anyway. Uh, I think I probably want... Oh. Wait, how do we make catalogs? Oh, we need those weird machines. Research server or advanced? Okay. Um, well, I guess we're not using this layout. Do I want to lay it out so that there's room to replace them with the advanced research servers? Or do I just want to do the build again when the time comes? Tehran 45, fantastic. T hose, thank you very much for the three months. Much appreciated. Thank you. And good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I saw you earlier today. Regardless, a welcome back. For my space base, I have uh, I went with a funny design of splitting the different science disciplines into separate islands. Connecting them with rails to a central research island. Nice. Yeah, I want to go for something kind of organized. Uh, since I saw Damsel's space base. Um, basically what I'm going to go for, more or less, is... So this whole area in the middle is dedicated to bringing things up and down the space elevator. Uh, we've got spaces potentially for train depots here and here. That should be more than enough, I hope. Um, we've got ingots and stuff here. We've got fluids here. Just a bunch of things we had to bring up the space elevator. Um, broadly, I want to try and go with... Uh, what was it? Uh, energy science down the left, material science down the right, bio up here, and astro up here, probably. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you get the idea. These machines are bigger than these ones. Nice, I like it. Thank you. Hopefully gonna fall asleep soon. Come for the ASMR. Uh, thank you, I think. Oh, I see. So it's definitely not for the, for the Factorio builds or anything like that. I see how it is. Um, I really don't know what I want to do about... Well, okay, let me look at this build. We'd be looking at 2.24 catalogs per second. Let's call it 2.5 we want to aim for. Oh, wow, that's a lot more than I thought. That's like 25 machines if we didn't have modules. The gaming is... The gaming is bad. Oh, no. Uh, so this is four in, one out. It's so small, though. If we're going to have, like... Four inputs. Maybe I just want to space this out as if I'm going to use these machines from the start. I think I probably do want to do it that way. Choskin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We have to buy t hex one of these. What is it? Binaural microphone. Oh my goodness. The ear microphone? Yeah, apparently. What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, I think... I think I'm beginning to understand. Or even more immersive ASMR. <laughs> you are supposed to lick it. <laughs> right, okay then. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, I think I'll build it with these things in mind, and then just 
try and squeeze these into it after the fact, temporarily. Uh, let's go wide area bacon right about here. Let's make sure we have our pylon. And I'm sure if we put as many of these as we can fit, it's going to be way over the top, even with tier 3 modules. Let's find out. Just double check, but we definitely can't prod these. Um, I assume we can't build research servers anywhere but space. Is that a fair assumption? Does it even say here, or do I have to go back to uh, the main game? Cannot be built... There it is. Cannot be placed on land. Figured. Okay. Uh, if we had this many... Why did it place it wrong again? There we go. We, we could even double it, potentially, but probably not. But if we were to have tier 3 modules and just just enough speed to minimize our power cost, we'd be looking at a lot of energy catalogs. Um, I'm pretty sure half a block is going to be more than enough, even if we scale up a lot in the late game. That seems fine. So four physical in, one physical out. How do I want to go about this? Is in the tooltip? Did I miss it? Probably. Oh yeah, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Um, probably want to go for the usual... Input fluid goes here. What temperature is it? Negative 100. Um, and we shouldn't have any trouble with... Well, if it's four inputs, I guess... Like that. Unless I want to move it into one more container, but I don't think that's necessarily... Oh, it might be, actually. Four different resources. Uh, cargo wagon size is 50. 320 stacks, let's call it 300 to be safe. We could do like 1.5 train loads maximum for each. That should be fine, especially considering how slow this will be. So we're looking for... let me just put the station down. Uh, requester... Uh, so 75 stacks, right? No, 150 stacks. Of each of these, 150 times 50, 7,500. Uh, what's the first data card? Conductivity data. And I'll just calculate real quick. What, 150 stacks, 75 stacks on each side, 300. Over 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can comfortably fit four resources that way. Unless all of them happen to get the absolute maximum summoned at the same time. Uh, and it's slightly imbalanced, I guess. Why don't I set this to like 7,000, if that. That should be fine. 
that would mean 2,000. We'd actually have over five minutes, five and a half minutes almost, to resupply it at that rate. I don't think we need to be that um, aggressive. Let's just go 6k. Should be plenty of room that way. Alright, so what about input-output fluids? I think I would like all things be... Oh, I like how these don't line up with each other. That's not a joke. I'm, I'm glad that, like, it's not gonna think I'm trying to mix fluids if I point these at each other. So we can just have each of these facing the same way. Uh, and as for this one... That'll be facing that way. Okay, I don't like how it's going to be lopsided, like asymmetrical over here, but what can you do? So we're going to have one, two belts of input. Um, probably do it like this. And then, question becomes, how do I, I think I can't line it up so that I can just replace the smaller ones with the bigger ones later on. I think it may be literally impossible. Unless I put the inserters in a different place, potentially. Okay, that might... That might work. That might not be such a hassle to change. Let's do it like this for the moment. Move that in a bit. And is it going to look the same on this side? I don't think so. Well, yes and no. Oh, this part I did not update yet. That would probably help. And over here. Maybe I should have the machines themselves slightly off so that... Well, no, that would put this one even further off. Never mind. So if I have the output fluid like this, I don't suppose... That's gonna be able to line up conveniently, not even a little bit. I'll just have to have, like, a central pipe going down the middle. Or I could... I guess I could do it like this. Gonna look a little weird. At least I could make that part symmetrical, actually. Looks like. So that would go there. Um, we could do whatever we want. Well, except for this part. Uh, we could do basically whatever we like to get the physical output with the big machines later on. Um, and we can just... do whatever we need to here. Shouldn't be that difficult. Um, 
So is that going to work out the same kind of way on this end? I think it is. Yeah, that seems okay. Let me just copy paste this. And I think I'll put the big machines back. Uh, what are we doing? Energy one catalog. do some output belts. Two, three. How about like this? And we'll leave a marker for exactly where the beacon goes. That seems easy enough. So if this were replaced with the little machines, or before we replaced the little machines, rather, uh, it seems fairly obvious that we're not going to have a whole lot of trouble getting those to the belt. Uh, and of course we're going to do our negative 100 degree thermofluid input like this. Cool. Alright, so conductivity data... Electromagnetic field, polarization, and radiation. And go here. I kind of want it mirrored. I might want to put it closer to the middle. Uh, this is six tiles, so there's no neat way to connect it with long pipes. Maybe I'll do undergrounds. Um, I guess I could do a pair of threes. It's not so bad. And then, however many tiles this is, up we go. I think I'd like to move the whole thing in a couple of tiles. Maybe put some undergrounds here. It's going to be slightly too short to look reasonable. Okay, that seems all right. this for now. Put in some temporary little outputs. Um, actually, put this here, this here, and so on. 
I don't think we have to worry about which side of the belt we're using with the rate that we're going to get out of this thing. Four, five, six. Fantastic. Um, now we just need some fluid IO. What is this? Five tiles? Perfect. And I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure 12 times one of these. Under one of these beacons at maximum speed without costing too much power is still going to be extremely slow fluid wise and solid wise we really don't have to worry about that this time okay Let's connect this up here. What? Wait, what? Oh, that's... Oh, that's one off. Compared to on the right. Uh, how about a pair of fives? And we'll pretend we didn't see that. And this is not going to be five, five tiles. Um... We could either do some undergrounds or a pair of threes. We've done lots of pairs of threes this time. That seems okay. You know, the max rate of fluid here is so slow, I feel like it's almost like a waste to have all of these containers just so we can unload faster. That's four tiles actually. Oh, is this also four? No, it's not. Okay, wire connection like so. Um, and we're gonna need 6k of these three as well. I think. Better double check. Conductivity, electromagnetic field, polarization, radiation. Yes, fantastic. Uh, and then we'll probably want to test that. Let's do our station name real quick. And it is negative 100 degree thermofluid. I'm pretty sure the recipe won't change, but yeah, negative 100 degree. Hundred K seems good. Long trains only. Keep it balanced. Or balanced ish, I guess. Uh and we're gonna need an output for twenty-five degree thermofluid. Um, and I think I'd like to do two different catalogs in the same block. We'll see how that pans out. Do we need different temperature thermofluid? Not for these two. Yeah, the first two are negative 100, the second two are negative 273. 
at the bottom loader is a normal rail? Uh, yes and no. Basically, the graphic for uh, the rail under the that is part of the bulk rail loader is regular rail. But if this were one tile to the left or right, uh, the space rail would happen to cover it up. So if we have... Uh, basically your options aesthetically here are... Uh, line it up perfectly with where the cargo wagons are going to be and have this bit of regular looking rail on one of them. Or you could move this over a bit and it would work, but obviously it looks a little strange. You're welcome, Schnutsky. Alright, let's connect these to LTN and have a... Do I not have... There we go. Have a bit of an output here. Wait, that's going into the train. Yep. Uh, and we need our 25 degree thermofluid to find its way down here. That would be one tile off. I could technically move it in a little bit, but then this part is going to be a little bit inconsistent with the rest of it. Alternatively, we could do it this way the whole time. Why don't I move this up a tile, and then 10, 11. I think this is 12 tiles. Yep. And we'll just deal with this one. Uh, but the whole purpose there was I want to move this over a tile. make things line up even more nicely. So this will make it so that if we're going to do two in the same block, they definitely have to have the same type of, the same temperature of coolant coming in. Which is fine, I think. Uh, these would reach, but they won't line up the same. Uh, we can fix that. Okay. 25 degree... Oh wait, now neither of these line up. What was I thinking? Uh, it's fine. Probably. Nope, just kidding. It's terrible. This is the end of everything. Okay, so we're going to do... Just an uh, active provider pickup, actually. Because we need to get rid of the thermo fluid as a priority. And... Ride stack threshold hunt. Yep, seems good. I'll just limit both of these to 50 stacks. And what's the most elegant way of getting our... Getting our thermo fluid down here. Well, it has to go down the middle like that. So I'm thinking this is probably as good as it gets. Or we could merge it, like, this way. But then... Uh, 
that would mean... It's probably fine. Let me just double check. I'm pretty sure the max rate... Even... Even if we go super fast eventually, which... Probably not. If we had speed nines... Uh, wide area beacon two... Efficiency nines and... Speed nines. But... Minimum power consumption. Times 12. We'd be looking at less than one space belt. Well, that makes it easy. I think we'll just... Merge this over here. And we need some underground. Well, we'll just figure it out when it comes to changing the layout for the new machines. I'm sure it won't be difficult. Okay. Oh, wait, I was going to put this here, actually. Seems okay. And then... If we were to... For instance, put... Uh, energy 2. Right about here. I imagine we'd get the same rate. Let's check what that rate is, actually. Oh, these only take tier 2 speed modules as well. So for now, we'd be putting in more speed. 6 speeds, negative 50%. 5 speeds, negative 80 Alright, so what's our rate? 3.36, 1.68, it's actually half the speed. Uh, does it end up turning out that we only need half as many? Apart from the fact that we need them for, prod, uh, for modules. 4 times Energy Science Pack 2, as opposed to... Two times energy science pack one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it all works out. So we can just give them exactly the same number of machines. Guess I could put this like so. And just connect this up here. Except we need the input on the other side. Should I do another drop off here for fluid or probably not? Oh, that would go there, wouldn't it? Let's just move this down one tile. Uh, so catalog two needs quantum. Atomic, subatomic. And I'm guessing force field data. Yes, indeed. And both of these require negative 100 degree thermofluid. They're both really, really slow on that. Um, I think I will just put this same kind of pipe over here. We need 15 plus 14. Unfortunate. Uh, 
that seems fine. And we'll just have the one pickup for the thermofluid. Uh, the output, that is. Except I need to connect it up somehow. Is the advanced machine going to fit like this? Yeah, okay. Where would be the neatest spot to connect this up? Probably way over here, to be honest. Just give it a 15 or 2. Uh, what is this? I need to have our station here and act like so. need to update that blueprint. So this will be catalog one, uh, plus 25 degree thermofluid, and this will be build me baby one more time. Uh, this will be a provider of catalog two. Fantastic. It doesn't quite line up the way I imagined. Probably because this isn't in the same kind of spot. Yeah, okay. Let me move this over a couple of tiles, I think. For the symmetry. These two should be just as far from the middle. Fantastic. And 15 minus 3, 12 tiles. And then this if I flip it, lines up with the middle of this, like I kind of expected it to. Except that doesn't work out the same way. I could just have a spare container here and pump it to the left. Is that breach? Nope. Figures. Let's just make this line up as best we can. Thirteen tiles. About twelve tiles. That's okay. All right, we should probably test it as well. Uh, let's go with... Since we've got four physical inputs for each, we can do a blacklist. Just gonna grab ourselves an infinity chest on each side. We're going to do red wire connecting these. And it would help if I'd done the... Uh, done the actual outputs here as well. Okay, so set filters blacklist is what we're going to do there. Shift right click, 
shift left click, and that's all of our test inputs. Very nice. That actually doesn't line up anymore. No wonder copy pasting it, the flip wasn't correct. The outputs on the left side do not connect. Indeed, they did not. Uh, so then, same deal over here. Except I haven't set these filters yet, so we didn't get to see something cool. Tragic. Okay. Uh, so the filters are quantum, atomic, subatomic. Atomic, subatomic. And force field. And then... Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we need our cold thermofluid. And that should be the last thing we need to do. To see this thing working. On both ends. Fantastic. Uh, and it would probably help if we had the belts. On the right side. Wait, what? This is the part I was trying to copy. Shim Sabao Mataro, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I guess I don't have a clean way to merge this over here. I could just put it into this container, actually. I was at first thinking of sending this all the way up here, but there's no need. Um, we'll just do it like this. That actually looks kind of weird, just because the undergrounds are so short. Maybe this, though? But then... Then it's not consistent over here. And then we can't see the output coming. Uh, I don't like it, no matter how I do it, with these short underground belts. Hmm, seems fine, I guess. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's not the same product. That's a different product. Are the last ones, the left side, working correctly? Um, uh, maybe not. Oh, it's probably because I busted the belt input temporarily. Yep, there it goes. Uh, so yeah, I actually do want one of these on this side. Uh, but making the making the pipeline up might be a little less elegant. Good evening, JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, do I want this to be a high priority? Not really. And. Yeah, I can see why that part's not going to be totally symmetrical. It's fine, I guess. Alright, so that's our catalog 1 and catalog 2. 
for energy science. Let's get rid of the cheat inputs for testing. Um, did I do this station name already? Yes, but no. This one needs to be updated. Uh, this is the next four data cards. And it's going into... I'll just put advanced research server because that's what we have in mind. Once we... catalog? Catalog. Uh, once we have the technology. Advanced research catalog one. Fantastic. Oh wow, that emptied quickly. I just realized of course it did because we were doing the blacklist filter. So there was never very much in here to begin with. Okay. I think that's our build. Let's clean it up a little bit. Whoops. What did I just click? There we go. And we'll add a little bit more scaffolding back in. Um, just so it doesn't look tacky, basically. Come to think of it, I'm definitely going to want to have the scaffolding in place for when uh, when it's time to put the advanced research servers in. So that goes up to there, and that goes down an extra tile, and that goes down an extra two tiles. Scaffolding. So it's going to go to there. And these ones are going to line up the same. This goes down one more tile. And up one more tile. So to there, I think. And this goes down two more. Is that right? No, I think this needs to go up one more tile, question mark. No, it does fit there. Oh, except, yeah, no, it does need to go up one more. There we go. Uh, what about on this side? That's actually the same. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, so scaffolding, brush. Down to here. That looks fine, I guess. Make it fairly neat. And this goes up to here. Which Coincidentally, lines up with the underground pipe, uh, underground belts, which is fine by me. Cool. That gap looks a bit weird, though. And then this bit here. Seems good. That seems pretty tidy. Alright. Double check our station names and wire settings. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, 
Um, I guess there's no reason a short train couldn't pick this up. Especially for catalog one, because we know we need that for uh, space rail and beacons. But we'll probably never end up doing that for broad. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Blueprint. Catalog 1 and 2. For energy science. Tiles, train stop names. Remove any cheat items. Don't think we have any. Snap to grid. And I believe that is it. Snap looks good. We could rotate that if we want to. And I should probably make a blueprint book for this. Maybe. I'll put a few of them together before I decide how to categorize them. Okay. Uh, and let's build this thing. Where do I want to build it? Probably like here. We can do some of the prereqs around here. Okay. Get our construction train involved. Just double check it's loaded. Yes, it is. The light is on. And let's get you to park here indefinitely. Should probably have the range to build this whole thing. Maybe not the scaffolding all at once. We'll see. Here comes our train. I got into, I've gotten too used to the fast trains. I think uh, at some point I'll probably do what I did downstairs. Uh, whoops. Hello. And give the construction train, uh, the space train locomotive treatment. There's scaffolding by the space elevator? Good call, thank you. That is not very far to go at all. And now it's not sitting here anymore. Fantastic. I don't suppose it's possible to put... Um, Reinforced plate in space. Is it? It doesn't say cannot be built. Uh, cannot be placed on space platform, spaceship. Cannot be placed on land. I would have thought the space platform stuff would say cannot be placed on X. But it doesn't. So obviously we can't place concrete up here. Uh, I'm guessing we're not going to be able to put reinforced plate down for the aesthetic. Probably. Oh, I need to turn my bots on. That might help. There is scaffolding by this... Oh yeah, I read that, sorry. I think we're going to be short scaffolding still. Yep. Uh, also, I don't think I've actually got the research servers. So that would be a little bit of a bust. I may as well try and build as much as we can while we're here, I guess. 
except I think remove the partial stations here because that's just gonna potentially complicate things. So how much stuff is being delivered? Oh no. Uh, we can't deliver cold thermo fluid here actually. And it's only cold thermo fluid that's being brought. Okay, you are trying to go to that one. Could you instead go to... I can't schedule it because I can't... Hmm. Here it is. Go to this one instead. Are they both loaded already or what's happening up here? We've got quite a bit of cold thermo fluid. Oh, this one just arrived. Yeah, 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 they're basically already here. He's trying to go to his temp stop that doesn't work. Well, temp stop that's in the wrong place. That is fast. Alright, let's jump in... Construction train... And we'll come back here after some condition is met. Why did you... no, bad. And I'll have to go out of my way to get 24 research servers. How do we make those? Uh, pretty easily. Okay, we're definitely going to need more of these, so... I don't suppose they're a prereq for the advanced one. They are. That's good. I won't feel too bad about overproducing them. Research server. Uh, let's say 30. Stacks to 50. Let's just ask for one stack. And then, and then what? Uh, prereqs for it. Research server, processing unit, steel beam, space assembly machine. I think they're all in here already. Space assembly, steel beam, surely, and processing unit. Yes, I didn't even have to add anything there. But we're still trying to make insert, oh no. We're trying to make inserters, and we can't make inserter parts. Um, that's a conundrum. Because the inserter parts are too far into the implicit list. This is intense? How so? Doing 6.6... .6. Oh, crap. Where are we? No! Wasted trip. And passenger not present. There we go. Doing 6.6 .6 knack proc per minute? I need at least 280. Yikes. How long until Arcospheres? Uh, at least 5 minutes. I want to see the scaling up there. I'm solving that puzzle now. Folding is easy, but making it fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. I could lose a lot of time redesigning Arcospheres. Alright, do we have some research servers already? No, we're still trying to catch up with the inserters because we didn't make enough inserter parts. I could potentially set it up so that uh, if we Oh, I did try to set it up this way, so that we try to make a lot of inserter parts, so that we have enough to support however many inserters we're trying to make when we do a burst of making inserters. But these use four, not counting 
the prerequisites. So it's actually like five, I think. Yeah, stack inserters use five inserter parts, ultimately. Alright, let me just turn off inserters for a minute, because we need those research servers. How big can that train get? Uh, you can make it as long as you like. But it wouldn't fit very well in my rail blocks if I made it 27 wagons long. Some people do like to make trains that are dozens of wagons long, but it's artillery wagons, usually. Barga, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, there's our research servers. Fantastic. How many do we have already? Don't know, because I didn't ask the train to pick them up. I think I should just pick them up myself for the moment. Uh, we have about 20. I need how many? 24, right? We've got 23. One more research server, please. There we go. And let's, as soon as it's loaded. Uh, it looks like it is loaded, but I didn't hear the... Oh, you don't have enough inserters. Well, that's not happening for a minute. Oh, we've got bots coming back. It's probably just as well I didn't leave yet. Thanks, glad to arrive. <laughs> no worries. That is an adorable cat. 10 out of 10. And now we're getting some extra bots in here. Okay, let's just park ourselves down here. Wait for inactivity. And switch back on the inserters before I forget. And we'll have some catching up to do. Um, once the inserters are done as well, because they've been blocking other things from getting made. Alright, let's grab our blueprint once the scaffolding's done. And the only red thing left is up here. Looks like it's already there. Fantastic. Oh no, now there's thermofluid coming again. Oh no, because that was part of the blueprint. Oh no. Stop, 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 stop. Go back to depot. Did I... did I get there in time? I did. There is no thermofluid in that train. Fantastic. Apparently we didn't bring the space pipes because we're waiting for the... No, come back! Because uh... it was waiting for inserters, that's why. Oh well, the build is basically finished. So that'll be catalog number one and catalog number two. Beautiful. And then we have to start working on the prereqs for this. Conductivity data, electromag, polarization, and Radiation. I'd like to do those nice and close, of course. Um, but yeah, I think that'll do for now. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. Gone surprising amount of overtime today, considering I wasn't feeling that well. Uh, Mucky? I haven't raided Mucky for a minute, I think. Sure, why not?
you have bot interference off? No, I just make sure that I don't have more than 50 logistic bots uh, in most places. Uh, on Hagen, it's really bad. The bot interference wind uh, is 10.69, but in orbit, it's actually very low for orbit. Um, at the mall in orbit, I do have uh, basically recycling of destroyed bots. Get well soon, thank you. Okay. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And for now, let's go say hello to Mucky. Take care, Veldak, thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. Disc Rod? Indeed. Take care, Dunno. Love Kelly. And everyone else. See you next time, guys. Uh, almost certainly tomorrow. And after that, more SEK2. Where are we clearing? Oh. 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 East oh. or west? Now I can. Now I can. Yes. Oh. Oh.